Hello. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Wolf Den Live, episode 185, sponsored by Secret Labs. I wouldn't say sponsored, but thank you for the gracious yes. shares. Secret Lab, uh, <laughs> Secret Lab Gaming Shares uh, graciously gave us uh, two of their Titan chairs. Not just their Titan chairs, but their special limited tell, edition. Go tell them the story of, of how okay. got these chairs, all right? So tight, uh, Secret Lab is a gaming chair uh, company. They make you know those racer style chairs like uh, this, like this, and they made a special limited edition Batman chair. Now, of course, Ooh. me being me, I wanted this and was willing to spend top dollar for it, even though it's very expensive. Um, and then one day, I mentioned it on the show one day, and I said, kind of in passing, kind of joking, you know, Secret Labs, if you're watching, you want to send me a chair, go please, by all means, send me a chair. Uh, but you, you guys reached out to Secret Labs and said, hey, send them chairs. And they sent us two chairs. So thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys are what make dreams come true. If you'd like to check them out yourself, yes. there's a link in the description where you can check out these beautiful Titan yes. and Batman gaming chairs. And I'm not just saying this because they sent us this. Uh, this, this is very comfortable. It's very. I'm very excited to replace my current uh, computer chair with this. Your current computer chair is like a wooden chair, isn't it? No, it's it's an old oldie school uh, rolly chair. It's my wife's from when, when she was like in high school. Mm. And I'm just like, uh, honey, I kind of got an upgrade. And she just goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, this is cool though. This is the, I believe this is the Titan version. So this has uh, neck support. There's another version. It's the Omega version. Basically the same chair, but it's got lumbar support. Uh, Jay Garcia in the chat says, but can you do this? Actually, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. All right. So... Thank you, Secret Labs. I will be replacing my chair with this chair. I like getting ridiculous gaming chairs. My first yeah. one was like this American flag one. Yeah. Uh, and that I've had forever. And mm -hmm. now I got this ridiculous bad I know. One. Like I said to myself, like I want to get like a comfortable chair. I don't know if I would go for like a racer chair, like a gamer chair, because those just seem extravagant. This is nice because it's just black. Yeah. And it's got the Batman logo <laughs> on it. And the thing is like, yes. it looks like a chair Batman would actually sit in. Yes. Like, it looks like a chair that Batman would sit in if Jim Lee was drawing him. And I appreciate the hell out of that. Batman's wouldn't have wheels on it, I don't think, but I'll yeah, take true. it. <laughs> yeah, probably wouldn't. Um, anyway. Robin's would, because Robin is a kid. <laughs> hello, Aiden. Hello, uh, AJ. Hello, Demolition Man 5. Hello, Jeremy Shear. Hello, Rockin' Val. Hello, Brandon Dev. Hello, Cell Sill. Hello, everybody. Hello, anyone and everyone who is here, including Danny Duran with the $2 Super Chat. Danny Did Duran with the $2 Super Chat. Thank you. We got Dreamer Tim, who became a member. We got Eric Henley, who became a member two months in a row. We got Joe es Espinoza, which I can't pronounce every time, <laughs> for five months. We got Benjamin Cothran with seven months. We got Brett Young with 13 months. We got R. Dilly with 15 months. And we got Danny Duran with the $2. Yes. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. For all being members here on YouTube. Oh, we got, uh, we got a brand new one. Look at that. Game we got a new one. one. Thanks, man. Thanks, Thanks dude. Get a member here. Oh, I wanted to mute the the audio. Um, so anyway, there's there is surprising amount to talk about. Yes, there's a lot going on, here. including two dollars from Jordan Scott. Uh, hey, Wolf Bros, excited for Ultimate Alliance three? Yes. Uh, yes, uh, particularly will. Yeah. Uh, just get this out of the way now. We we will both be getting the game. We will both be playing for, playing it. I will have my Wednesday video will be about Ultimate Alliance three. Are you going to be on the Sunday stream? Yes. Okay. No, all, the Sunday stream will also be Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Yes. Um, another thing I want to get out of the way to talk about mm -hmm. is that we have a new channel. I don't think I told you this. You There's did a not. new YouTube channel. You did not tell me this. Uh, the link is in the description to subscribe to it. Will, you better subscribe to it. Yeah, I better to subscribe it. to it. It's, it's going to be a clips channel for clips of this show. Oh. And our, our own Eric Henley is going to be... Do managing those clips. That's why you said Eric was gonna. Yes, because we have a new channel. Now. I got gotcha. you. Clips of this show. I am subscriber ninety five. We gotta get a hundred so we can get a vanity URL. Yeah, everybody, start. Everybody start subscribing. We only need five. We only need five, <laughs> but we want more. So yeah. So there'll be that you might see some clips of this show floating around on on the old YouTube, just like yeah. all the other big podcasts do. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyway, all right. The, the, we got to we got to get into 
the news here. Okay, but first, a, okay. Henry P with two dollars. Hey, hi Wood, I like your second channel. Uh, delete him. <laughs> <laughs> had to get that in there but yes we have big news to talk about we also got Tro troy murphy with a dollar and jc spenny with a tier one sub on twitch thank you oh and spack surf with two dollars and we All also right. oh wait we missed uh a, a little reckless with two dollars bob with the sn30 pro plus which color is your fave we'll get to that we will get to that that is that is part of it all right Probably now stop sending us money <laughs> wait jordan scott with two dollars hey wolf bros oh wait we read that already. yeah all right so there's, there's a new Switch revision. There's a new Switch revision. Let's just get that out of the way. There, we're, we're getting a new... So I woke up this morning and everybody's like, Ah! <laughs> we're getting a new... We're getting a new... We, listen, we knew there was going to be a stealth update to the Switch. Yeah. It was pretty heavily... Some people thought it was going to be a pro model. Mm -hmm. And those people were dumb. We pretty much knew it was going to be a minor revision yeah, to like a battery. current Switch. Yeah. I thought... We wouldn't be expecting that for a while. Yeah, I was expecting be like closer to Christmas. I was expecting next year. Yeah. Because uh, we're getting a Switch Lite now. Mm -hmm. You know, there's plenty of time for them to do a slight upgrade to yeah. the original Switch. Um, and even if we do get a, 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 a slight overhaul, like 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 a new Nintendo Switch, like a, like a like an actually different looking thing, yeah. that I'd expect something like next year. But anyway, apparently... On the Japanese Nintendo website, there is, uh, they just farted out today, hey, there's going to be a new Switch in August. Uh, this article is according to Kotaku, and they say, Nintendo releasing new Switch model with better battery life. This August, Nintendo is releasing a new Switch model with a longer battery life. It will be priced the same as the current model, and aside from the improved battery, feature the same specs. The new model's battery life will last between 4 to 5, 4.5 and 9 hours, depending on the game. For Breath of the Wild, for example, the battery life will last for an estimated 5.5 hours. In comparison, the current model has a battery life that's between 2.5 in 6.5 hours. That's a lot longer than I was expecting. Yeah. Depending on the game. Once again, for Breath of the Wild, the battery life is three hours. I have to say, when we flew from Vegas to New York, yeah. the entire flight I was playing uh, uh, the game I like. Mario <laughs> Maker. <laughs> Mario Maker. Yeah. <laughs> Smash Brothers. <laughs> I had a stroke already. Yeah. Um, I was playing Mario Maker the yes. whole flight. And what, how long is that flight? Like five hours? Five hours, yeah. Yeah. So and it didn't the battery didn't die. Yeah, you know, come to think of it, I played Mortal Kombat X for like a long time on that flight, and then I played some demos that I had on there just to try and get through them, and it lasted. Yeah, the whole, whole time. And despite the fact that Mortal Kombat X looks like crap, it it is pretty <laughs> it graphically like intensive crap. for for a Switch game. The the Switch gets a lot of crap for its its bad battery life, but yeah. I think it's just in specs because yeah. it varies. The battery life yeah varies, it varies depending on game. You know, I mean, I think overall it holds up pretty well. Yeah. Um, so anyway, Kotaku says, Above, you can see how that uh, compares to the newly announced Nintendo Switch Lite, which will feature a battery life of three to seven hours. Breath of the Wild clocks in at four hours. They probably announced this uh, battery spec update as soon as possible because the Switch Lite uh, just came out. Like they just announced the Switch Lite, and that it's going to have better battery life than the regular Switch. Mm -hmm. So they figured update the battery for the regular Switch so that it seems like a you know you're getting more for your money. Like that extra hundred dollars is not just getting you detachable Joy Cons and TV play, but it's also getting you a better battery. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Also, we talked about last week how um, this was rumored. Yes, and that it's also rumored that they're going to be using the same. Uh, some uh, similar parts like mm -hmm. maybe uh uh the the gpu cpu unit the tag, yeah it's the, not the tegra but whatever no it's a tegra the new tegra well we don't know what it is it's yet whatever it, the, the switch, current one is a tegra yes but the new one we don't know what it is it's probably a, like it's a tegra probably is the newer tegra yeah. but we don't know for sure yet mm -hmm. but the, the the we know that the switch light uses a completely new chipset right um it's speculated that whatever the cpu gpu hybrid is is uh gonna be the same in the new this new switch revision right this and and the uh and the switch light i hope that's kind of not the case because <laughs> that would give more uh evidence to that that would give more reason why you can't dock the switch light yeah if it's the same exact 
CPU GPU set, then it's like, why don't you just right. allow us to dock the switch? Light, yeah. You know, so that's a little scary, but it is nice that for the same price. Now we get a much improved battery life. I'm willing to bet that they've been working on this since the switch came out. Yeah. Because first of all, that's how game hardware works. Yeah. All video game, uh, hardware manufacturers but that was do that. the biggest criticism when the switch first came out was battery life mm -hmm. so that's probably the first thing they've been wanting to improve yeah um at the end of this article it says according to nintendo the new model number uh hack dash zero zero one will also be available in the u.s starting mid-august i was gonna that was gonna be another thing i was gonna say i was gonna say i don't know if this is coming to the u.s because <laughs> everybody's freaking out about Nintendo, it, and it's only Japan right Nintendo now. Nintendo does have a history of releasing things in Japan and not in the U.S. Yeah, I was I was very skeptical whether or not this was going to come to the U.S. Um, so I guess same time, same. It's going to come to the U.S. in August, just like it's coming to Japan in August. So when does the Switch Lite come out? September twentieth. Right, September. Okay. Anyway, here's the uh, Japanese Nintendo Switch site that has mm -hmm. that at the very top. It says, "Will." Don't you know switch? And Which what does that mean? I had to look up and according to Google Translate, it means beans, you owe. <laughs> no, it means which switch. Oh. That's what it means. Uh, and this is just a site that's, you know, comparing the pros and cons of both switch models. Right. Uh, and if you're watching this channel, you probably know what switch you should get. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is. Just all of a sudden on this website, you got this little section right here that straight up tells you uh, that the newer one is going to have a better a better battery life. Yeah. Let me do a translate here. Uh, yeah, it says new model with be longer battery life. Click here for more details. And you click it, and it doesn't give you any more details. <laughs> um, but yeah, 4.5 to 9 hours as opposed to 2.5 to 6.5 Well, I clicked, I clicked it, and it sends you to a whole new page right. that shows you the new box art for the new Switch models. And a Dragon Quest XI S Loto edition. Oh, wait, I didn't see that. I, I looked, I saw that <laughs> out of the corner of my eye, and I thought that that was the Smash Brothers one. I was like, oh, I've that, seen that. No, I don't care. That's, that's Dragon Quest XI S Loto. That's new. Or Lotto. <laughs> that's a new thing. Is that just because of the translate? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't remember seeing that. But that, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, release date. January 29th, 2017. That's wrong. That's got to be wrong. No, yeah, 2019. Oh, you Google, when you Google translate the date, it try it like oh. messes it up. That is, uh, that is uh, September 27th, 2019. Okay. That's what that is. Um, that's pretty awesome. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Okay. Box art looks cool. That's really it is we're getting a new uh, better battery life, but I'd suspect that the battery is not just bigger. Yeah. It's probably better because of the CPU GPU that we're that we're putting in there. It's going to be a more energy efficient yeah. CPU slash GPU. I'm sure there are other like little tweaks in here. Like I'm sure they fix that hardware exploit that used to be popular with hackers where like you jam a paperclip in there and it fries the Maybe. Yeah. I've never messed with that. Me neither. But I know like it was popular enough that they couldn't have escaped Nintendo's vision. It's possible that yeah. they fixed that. Uh, hopefully they fixed the kickstand. Yeah. I wouldn't expect too many changes. Yeah. This is going to be pretty much the same it's, stuff. It's going to be pretty basic. But... Yeah. And uh, whatever they're putting in is probably going to be something similar to whatever they got going on yeah. in the Switch Lite. Also, there's been a lot of controversy f flapping about because the joy cons are susceptible to drift yeah that's been a big uh topic the past few days yeah um and the switch light has the joy con built in and it looks yes. like it's the same thumbstick yes. so that might also be susceptible to drift i have 1000 joy cons <laughs> and i have never uh felt a drift before in my life yeah i've never i haven't experienced drift i mean i don't play it as often as you but i also almost never use the joy con true so that might be part of why. Yeah. And like when I'm playing Mario Maker in portable mode, I'm using the D-pad. So. I mean, I'm almost always exclusively playing the Joy-Con and I'll leave it upside down sometimes. I'll throw it in my bag. You know, I'm a monster with it, but I haven't experienced. You know, you have almost all of my pro controllers. 
Like the aftermarket program. I was looking through and like I do. <laughs> you you took all of them. I don't know why. Oh, you because you went away. I went away and I need a yeah. controller to play Smash Brothers with. Yeah, well, you can have them all back. Give me all of them back. Okay. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm always like it's like two in the morning and i'm yeah. like oh i gotta film this thing and i'm like where are my controllers <laughs> they're just, all gone i just need one for the weekend and then you can have the rest back. all right and i'm keeping my wolf den one i forgot we needed to eat something oh in the beginning of the street you know what? We'll, we'll do it during yeah. their unboxing um anyway so we're getting a new switch mm -hmm. uh I don't think so. Listen, I gotta buy it because I gotta make a video. I was gonna. That was gonna be my next question. Are you gonna buy it? I would never buy this if it wasn't for me making a video out of it. Yeah. No, I, me I, honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna replace my switch with it. Yeah. Because I've never run out of battery life when I'm just using my switch. Yeah. You know, I'm, it's never happened to me before. To, to me, this is like the difference between going from the PS2 to the PS2 Slim. You know, if my PS2 didn't break, I would have I never even, gotten the PS2 Slim. I wouldn't even say that. No? I mean, uh, well, no, I, you're right. I have the same feeling. Like, yeah. Like, when we had the PS2, we got the, the Slim came out, we were like, why? I don't yeah, know we don't know that. Then it, ours broke, and then we got the Slim. I'd say this is more like uh, slapping an HDMI port in the original Xbox 360. No, well, maybe. Or, or what's the other one? The Jasper chip. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. It's just like you're just getting a better chipset in there, yeah. and that's basically it. All this is really doing is improving battery life. But there could be some minor changes that we don't know about right. yet. Like may maybe there's something, like maybe they do fix the kickstand, yeah. and everybody freaks out because the kickstand's better. Uh, maybe they fix the Joy-Cons. That's not going to happen. Yeah. That's, a, that's a separate part. Um, but m maybe the screen's like slightly different and everybody freaks out about yeah. it. Maybe it's like matte and not glossy. I don't know. But there could be something that comes out of nowhere that everybody like freaks yeah. out about. Expect Spawn Wave to do a complete teardown and tell you every little bit and yeah. piece about. Go, go to Spawn Wave <laughs> for a teardown. Yeah. I will do a video on it just because. Yeah. When it comes out, I will try it out and see what the differences mm -hmm. are. But um, yeah, go to Spawn Wave for a yeah. complete teardown. We got a bunch of super chats here. We did. Uh, you playing around with your chair? I'm, playing, well, I'm fidgeting with my chair. You know, you know the sides go up and down. Yes. I've never had a 4D armrest before. I like, so this is very important for them to go up and down. Yeah. Because you want your arms level with your desk. Yes. Very important. Mm -hmm. uh, this is way too high, though. This <laughs> is way too high. All right. Uh, where was, oh God, we got a lot. There's a lot of you people. Yeah. What was the last uh, one? JC Spendy with the Twitch Prime. We got that. Oh, Highwood with that piece of garbage. <laughs> uh, Troy Murphy, thank you for the dollar. Andy Ackerman, thank you for five. Sup, you sassy bastards. Bastids. Bastids. Hello. Hey. Uh, why do I have to do this with, oh, for F's sake, with $2? Thank you. Uh, Milla the Killer, 12, with five. Bob, you get those whole shebangs also bob and will i got some fan art for you where do i send it you can twitter send yes uh yeah send it to our twitter accounts our just personal add, twitter add us on twitter as long as there's no penises no i want it all if send him pe penises if there's penises send it to me if it's if it's not if it's safe for work send yeah it send it to <laughs> um uh oh did we get the whole shebangs yes they're right there are you the ones who suggested it? Because I completely forgot who suggested we get the whole shebang. I don't... Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there yeah. when we do the unboxing. I yeah. forgot to do it in the beginning because there was so much to talk about in the yeah. beginning. Um, Matt Lisko with $2. Been watching you guys for years. Take a super chat. Thanks. Thank we you, will. Matt Lisko. Uh, Raz Tendo with 20 sex. <laughs> I'm going to look up what that you is. You that up. Uh, I like your show and all, but read up a bit. No, Give uh, us a minute. that's the show, man. It's it's Swedish Krona. Oh, that's what sec is. I, I'm gonna keep calling it sex. All right. Uh, Trevor Collins, two dollars. Game Boy is the only correct version of the SN30. Oh, he's talking about the, the Game Boy cartoons, edition. Yes, yeah. I'm a fan. I mean, that's the one they they pretty much erased the original version, yeah. which like looked exactly like the SNES. Yeah, I wonder, I, I wonder what happened. Yeah, something must so have happened. Nintendo was probably like, hey. Knock it off. <laughs> so now they have a version that kind of vaguely looks yeah. like it. It's funny. And they don't call it the Game Boy version. They call it the GB. Yeah. And it's the SN and SF, not this. Yes. Uh, hey, Jay Mitchell. 
87 thank you for being a member here on youtube trevor Come collins on. thank like, you for being a member we need more members here on youtube because i need an extra emote slot so i could because i deleted the old uh aj amiibo yeah uh, amiibo god <laughs> uh emote um a little reckless with two dollars is it worth upgrading if you play 90 percent docked porn? no as 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 per the information we have now mm -hmm. absolutely not yes and i'm in the same boat as you i play 90 percent docked only when I'm making a level in Mario Maker. Also, you know what? I started. I was making docked, and I figured it out. Like yeah. some, you'll when you're making a Mario Maker, something could, will just click, and you'll be able to do it with a controller, no problem. But it's still a little easier with when it's yeah. on docked. Um, so yes, I'm in the same boat. I'm not as as per the information we have now. I'm not going to upgrade. Um, Gregory Romano, thank you for the two dollars. Thanks for helping me get through this boring shift. No problem. We got you, man. And uh, Andy Ackerman with $5. It's always controversial when you're flapping around. Flapping about. Flapping about? Yeah. Did we say something about flapping about? What's your problem? <laughs> we were talking about penises before. Oh, the penises. Yeah. That's what it was. All right, anyway. So, what does the chat think about this, this uh, new Switch revision? uh do they do they care <laughs> <laughs> i was assuming that some of the super chats are gonna be talking about the switch yeah it's it's weird no. because like this isn't a big deal that it's getting a new battery mm -hmm. um because the battery life itself it's only like you know an hour or two hours more it's a big deal to some people exactly like be, be, some people this is a huge deal it's a huge deal for some people because they people are way more susceptible to buyer's remorse than i ever imagined yeah like whenever I talk trash about something, or whenever I whenever there's a new thing, like one of the, one of the biggest questions I always get unsolicited to me is, should I buy a Nintendo Switch? And it's like you're asking the wrong person. Yeah, because <laughs> of course I'm gonna tell you yes. But uh, also I don't know your life. I don't know like yeah. if you have the money for it, or if maybe you should buy the medicine your grandma needs. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, but. Uh, some people, they hear that there's a new, like a rumored Switch revision coming mm -hmm. out and they're like, oh, I'm not going to buy a Switch until that comes out. And then they end up waiting a whole year, you know? Yeah. There's some people who are going to wait till this thing comes out. There's some people who are going to wait for the Switch Lite, even though they only want to dock I know a lot one. of people who like when the Switch, well, not just the Switch, but any video game system comes out and they go, oh, wait till next year. The new one will come out. Yeah. And they do that for five years. Yeah. And by the time Switch 2 comes out, oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, Eu follow sobre some different language. Any chances <laughs> Nintendo will make a Switch too? Yeah. Speaking of which, <laughs> in like four years. Yeah. It's gonna be a while, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, the Switch is in its third year. This is the third year of the yeah. Switch. Um, so it's been around for two and a half ish. Yeah. Um, it's got another three or four years. Yeah, mm -hmm. in it, especially with these revisions coming out. So. Slow your roll, yeah, there, buddy. New member Jay Matson, thank you. There is thunder. Yeah, it's supposed to thunder and light lightning today. <sighs> oh boy, <sighs> get ready. Hold, hold on to your bridges yeah. for this stream. Um, Scruffzilla says I'm pretty stunned that they didn't uh, upgrade the size of the hard drive as well, even slightly. That's true. That's another. Oh yeah, that's another that's that's a big pain in the ass. That's another thing. Uh, that people didn't like when the Switch come, came out. Yeah. yeah, it was the battery life and the size of the internal memory. I am currently going through a struggle with that. Let me tell you what. Oh, boy, tell Hattie. us, tell us this story. Okay. This is good. So, so as you all know, these past two days were, was Amazon Prime Day, the holiest of holidays in America, um, and I used the time to buy myself a new micro SD card for my Switch. I upgraded to a 400 gig. Now. I had read on TheVerge.com, and I'm telling you the name of the website so you can go to them and yell at them. <laughs> it's on TheVerge.com, they said, to transfer uh, your games from one SD card to another, all you have to do is copy the, the file from the SD card. It'll be in a folder that says Nintendo. You copy that file to your computer, and then you copy it from your computer to the new S micro SD card. Then you take the new micro SD card and put it in your Switch. It should recognize everything. It did not. In fact, when I did that and I put the new SD card in my Switch, it said, there's no SD card in this Switch. 
Like it just didn't recognize the card at all. So I took it out, I reformatted the card, I moved everything over individually rather than one by one. And then I put the new SD card in the Switch. It recognized the SD card, but none of the games. Not a one. So finally, I decided to take the SD card, reformat it one last time. Oh, no, sorry. It didn't, when I put it in the second time, first it said, this SD card is corrupted. We will now delete the corrupted files and restart the Switch. So it did that, and it didn't recognize any of the files. Maybe somehow your, your SD card got corrupted. How? I did everything that I was supposed to. And, and maybe somewhere in the process, it just straight up got corrupted. Well, all I know is I reformatted it for a second time. I put it in the Switch, and now I'm downloading every single game individually. Did you reformat the card and then try a second time? Yes. To transfer everything over? Yeah. And it was still corrupt. Still same problem. Oh, then yeah. it's not the, that, that's not your fault. Yeah. Uh, at least, unless it corrupted twice, which no. is very unlikely. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people say that you can just transfer your stuff yeah. off the SD card. That's, that's, it's not just the Verge. It's, I've heard that many times. Yeah. But I knew that it can't possibly be yeah. that easy because it's freaking Nintendo. And, and just to put the cherry on top... Uh, there are a couple games on the 32 gigabyte internal hard drive that I wanted to transfer over to the memory card because I want to have like the internal space for like reserve stuff. And in order to do that, on Xbox One, I don't know about PS4, but on Xbox One, you can go into the game and it will say you have the option to move, copy, or delete. Either move it to an external, uh, copy it to the external, or just delete it from your internal hard drive. On the Switch, you have to archive it first. Yes. And then re-download it, and it'll automatically go to the SD card. Because I think for some reason it recognizes the SD card as the primary uh, hard drive when that's inserted. Uh, Trevor Collins says it worked for him. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, uh, AJ Jake Harper said, "Will same." So there you go. Well, Jake Harper, are you using Mac OS? Because AJ says it doesn't work like that on Mac OS. And you know what? He's probably uh, right. Maybe. It's probably. Because I am OS. using Mac OS. But. Still, why wouldn't it work? Yeah, on Mac OS? it's it's just it, it's it's an XFAT card transferring over to another XFAT card. Yeah, there should be no problem. Yeah. on on Mac. Uh, Cole D'Amico says, "Do you think there will be exclusives to this new Switch model?" Absolutely no. not. No, definitely will not. Uh, a little a little reckless as a new member. Thank you. But uh, Disc Jew has added me in the uh, Discord and said. Transferring only works on PC, not Mac. But why, though? Yeah. What is the difference? Yeah. There should be no difference. If you're just transferring files from one card to another that the Mac recognizes, that shouldn't be a problem. And then Ray in the chat says, don't use Mac because it big suck. I'm going to say, <laughs> I have never used a Windows computer that doesn't have at least some problem yeah. happening going on. True. I, my friend started streaming, Greg. Greg started streaming, mm -hmm. and he, he his alerts just don't work. You know, <laughs> when you start streaming on Windows, sometimes something doesn't work, and there's nothing you can do about it. What what on our new computer? Yeah. The problem that doesn't work is that you just can't do a window capture of anything. And you know what? You Google it, you do everything right. There's just nothing you could do about it yeah. except buy a new computer. <laughs> it's just how it is on Windows sometimes. Uh, had you know, had I known you can only do it on a Windows PC. Then I would have, because my work laptop is a Windows PC, so I would have busted that out and then have to explain to my boss why there are Nintendo files on my work PC. But again, <laughs> why yeah, though? it shouldn't be a, that should this should not be an issue. Is it because it can't be a FAT32 formatted card? Because Windows doesn't do FAT32, which is just FAT. But isn't that the same anyway? I che you know I checked the when I checked the SD card I originally had in the Switch, and it's XFAT, which the Mac rec recognizes no problem. The Mac has no problem with that format. Yeah. So therefore, it should have no problem transferring from one SD card to another. Macs can handle file formats. That's all yes. it is, is a file format. Yeah. You know, that there's no reason why it, why it shouldn't work. Uh, Ralph says, if you ever open a Mac USB on Windows, there's a dot underscore file name file because Macs write differently. That's, yes, that's a thing. Yeah, uh, ghost files. Yeah, that's yeah. a thing that happens when it's yeah. uh, that happens on externals that are Windows formatted. Yes, I have a I have a string in my Dropbox that deletes those. Yeah, you can, on my you can delete those. They don't affect anything. Yeah, uh, but that's that could be screwing things up. Yeah. Um. 
uh simon in the chat says it shouldn't be different but nintendo <laughs> yes uh the cyberquake says a uh, mac tends to add a bunch of extra files when it gets access to things on externals yeah for some reason it does. and you know what i went in and i checked afterwards and like all the files looked fine mm. like i didn't see anything extraneous there that's so dumb yes that's dumb all right i hate it uh all right we're done with that yes but we're not done with the news because there's so much more yes um where am i uh there's new joy cons did you know yes we got uh one of nintendo's new joy con color schemes is basically waluigi themed um, basically <laughs> basically uh according to nintendo their tweet they oh this is the verge so i'm not yeah. gonna read their article but because <laughs> i'm mad at them nintendo tweeted customize your nintendo switch even more with these new joy con colors blue neon uh blue slash neon yellow mm -hmm. and neon purple slash neon orange available yeah. beginning uh october 4th that's so far i know for 80 dollars of course it yes is. uh these are cool yes wait why is that waluigi themed i think because if you look the blue and the yellow kind of look like wait really no waluigi is purple he's not purple and orange is he He's purple and like black. Now I got pull up. Now I got to pull up a freaking picture of Waluigi. Oh, his shoes? Maybe. His shoes are orange. His his hat emblem is yellow. Yeah. It's a stretch. I saw someone yeah. else saying that this was a uh, Wario theme, which makes a little more sense. Yeah. What is wait? What is Wario even? Yellow and purple. Yep, yellow and purple. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. so you get both of them, you swap them out, and boom, you got you Yeah, got there you go. I guess purple could also be... It's like you got the Wario slash Waluigi bundle. Yeah. That's what you got going on. Um, So that's cool because, you know what? There's not many uh, Joy-Con configurations these days. There's not no. many. There's not many Joy-Con colors. And it's disappointing. Really, all you have, it's like... is The Switch comes with a um, blue... You know, either gray or blue and red mm -hmm. and then you can buy i looked at it when you buy blue and red individually it's the inverse yes um so you can get that or you can get the splatoon colors what is it uh neon green and pink uh-huh yep those also you can get inverse but i think you might have to get the switch splatoon yeah. bundle in order to do that and that's it yeah there's not a lot yeah oh and the red the mario, mario but they don't make the, those they don't make those anymore Pretty sure they do. Not in America, at least. Yeah, they might not in America. Yeah. I remember seeing a picture of all of them. Um, anyway, uh, Go Nintendo has a nice, fancy-looking uh, chart of all the Joy-Con configurations yes. you can get. And it looks like you can only have the left side be purple. Yeah, so far. Yeah. Uh, same thing with blue, it looks like. The, oh, because the, uh, those are the new ones. The new blue, yeah. Yeah. Yellow, it looks like you can get both sides because of the arms one. Mm -hmm. uh, orange, you can also only get on the right side. What's this gold-looking thing? That oh, might no, be the Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah, you're right. You can get both sides of that? You probably have to buy the bundle and also yeah. buy the Joy-Con. You're spending a lot of money if you want all these Joy-Cons. Yeah. Must be Pear Schneider. He's got yeah, everything he's got them the all. Uh, I'm not going to buy any of these. No. Maybe if my Joy-Cons break. Maybe if they suffer from drift. I'm ha drift. Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking of the that meme, the 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 uh, initial D song. Mm. You see that? Mm. Yeah. You ever see the YouTube video? Uh, what's it called? Overdrift. No. It's very good. It's like yeah. a six minute video that's like basically uh uh Fast and Furious, but it's like completely over the top and stupid oh, it's, like a, it it's like a home yeah video. it's very good it's I'll, I'll send it to you later right. um but anyway um i'm i'm rocking my i got the red the mario odyssey ones yeah i got the gold custom ones that mm -hmm. i made i got the uh the uh hori the hori d-pad one d-pad one mm -hmm. uh i'm right now i'm rocking the hori d-pad and a gold joy con because i think that looks sick yeah. and i'm playing mario maker a lot right. so i want the d-pad so I don't need any of this crap. I also don't want to be one of those YouTube channels that's like, oh, look, 
there's a new color of Joy-Con. <laughs> Let me make a whole yeah. video out of this color, there's even always, though you can't tell what it looks like in real life. It, there's only so much you can do in terms of making content on a color change. I know. You know? People do that with the like Xbox controls. It's like, all right, I get it. But uh, on X Xbox, you can customize because they have a website you can go to and make your own damn controller any color you want. In Japan, you can order a Nintendo Switch with any Joy-Con you want. They should bring that here. I know. Because I would absolutely have done that. And it's portable only. They don't sell it with the dock. True. I would have done that. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't want to make that type of content. Yeah. Oh, um, me and AJ, though, mm -hmm. when the Switch came out, we were like, the neon Joy-Con looks stupid. Yeah, we're gonna get the gray ones because mm -hmm. the, the the neon the neon red and blue looks stupid. We don't need that. Um, but then we saw it in real life at a press event, and I was like, I want that. That looks way better. I that's that, the, that's the one I got. It looks better in real life than it does online. Yeah, or in videos or pictures. I got that one because it, well, a to differentiate it from yours, mm -hmm. so I know it was mine. B, I was watching a uh, movie Bob Chipman did a video on Switch and he said I, he bought the the blue and red one because he goes, games are toys. And I'm like, <laughs> he's not wrong. So. It's true. So also, like, I like, I just like the way it looks, you know, like it makes it look like a Nintendo system rather than this, you know, monolithic piece of consumer yeah. electronics. Um, so I was saying with the Switch light the new colors like yeah. i don't really like the turquoise i think i might like the yellow yeah but in uh, that might my opinion might change when i see it in real yeah. life so i don't know which one of those i'm gonna get all the people in the chat are naming other youtubers that are going to make videos out of, <laughs> out of the color <laughs> joyka we got kevin kenson we got spawn wave we got nintendo life yeah. who else um lamar wilson oh absolutely listen go ahead and make videos yeah. out, out of the the freaking additional controller colors yeah i don't want to do that because that's not interesting to yeah people. i almost a while ago i almost did that when they made new joy con colors i almost made a video that was like the new joy con colors was gonna be like a four second video of me dropping it on the table <laughs> here it is <laughs> that's it all right see you later <laughs> like share subscribe uh uh good times uh, real steel place is in japan the original switch with no dock is 220 dollars. so what's the point of the light for them at that point I thought it was two fifty. Yeah, I thought it was two fifty also. Um, yeah, what is the point? Yeah, that's a very good deal. I guess it's just you know one one less thing to worry about. You know, if the it is a little out. cooler. It's smaller. Yeah. Although it does less stuff. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of a lot more super chats. Yeah, we did. Uh, we got one that we missed. Uh, we got the ninety percent. We got, uh, oh, we got uh, David Lopez with five dollars. Had my switch, had my switch a week. Best Buy gives forty five days return, so I'll exchange it. Otherwise, nah. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like doing that because that's open. Yeah, stuff, you know. I mean, but they let you do it. Yeah. Jay Matson, do we say thank you for being a member? And a yes. little reckless, thank you for being yes. a member. And uh, game and live. Oh, he donated ten knocks. <laughs> That was 10. That yeah. 10. Uh, thank you. Uh, AC. Curve Mode Kuma. Thank you for being a member here on YouTube. Uh, Aishiken Ignis. That's Nock is Norwegian Crone. Should you guys be asleep? Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for the 10 R's. We learned that is Brazilian, Brazilian. Ruples, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a Switch one week ago. And if you're in Brazil... That's a pretty penny. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, I waited two years for the quote new, and I uh, and when I thought this won't happen in 2019, I need to f I need it for Fire Emblem, and when I buy, they announce too for 2019. Now I'm sad. You got double F. Yeah, because it's like twice the price for you. <laughs> for you, you're allowed to have some buying yeah. remorse. <laughs> Jay Matz with five dollars. What kind of special edition Switch lights are you hoping to see? I would love to see Zelda, Waluigi, and uh, Wishful Thinking, Star Fox. That is Wishful Thinking. That is very Wishful Thinking. Um, I, I wanted a Mario Maker one. Yeah. Didn't get it. One. Missed the boat. Did they make a Mario Maker 3DS? Yes. No, 2DS. 2DS. Um, I'm, I'm excited for the Pokemon one. Yeah. I would have said nice. Pokemon otherwise. 
Uh, Animal Crossing would be cool. I really just want a Mario Maker one. Like, yeah. I would buy a Mario Maker one in RP. Yeah. But uh, uh, I don't think we're getting that. Atomic Purple. That too. I, I, you know, they when they announced the Switch lights and everyone's like, Atomic Purple, I'm like, yeah, I want Atomic Purple. Why? Yeah, why do we need it to be themed around a game? Yeah. Why can't it just be, you know, when Nintendo re-released the N64s, the fun-tastic colors. Weren't, those weren't themed around the game. Those are just clear colors. Um. All right. Uh, <laughs> someone in the chat, Vinny, says, "Could you put a music? This get this get boring without music. No, but you can. Yeah. Just open up another tab. Yeah. No idiot. one's stopping you from going to Spotify. <laughs> All right. There's so much more to talk about here." Uh, Nintendo Switch gets retro customizable third party controller next month. <gasps> oh, this is the big one. Oh my god, this Will? is the big one. This is the friggin' 8 bit do control that we knew about. Yes, uh, but now we know why it's taking so long for it to come out because it's finally coming out because they added all these other features. What did they add to it, Will? Basically, the customization. <laughs> I didn't even read this article. <laughs> uh, Nintendo Switch gets retro, customizable, third-party controller next month. On August 7th, 8BitDo will release the Switch-compatible SN30 Pro Plus, a new controller designed for the hardcore Mario nerd in all of us. Ooh, there's button mapping. 8BitDo is a prolific third-party controller creator, a far cry from the old controller, blah, 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 blah. Um, designed to look like the front of a Super Nintendo controller, the SN30 Pro Plus has two analog sticks positioned like a PlayStation controller. The classic hard plastic D-pad sits on the controller's left face and the YXBA buttons mirror on the right. It's wireless and has shoulder buttons and back triggers. Uh, what makes this controller more advanced is the new 8BitDo Ultimate software. Shown in the video Ooh. above, this software lets players customize everything about the feel of their controller. Players can even input macros for the controller to execute a single oh. button press. So you can map the Konami code to one button if you needed to. There's a controller being made by Gilly Kit, I think, mm -hmm. that I was excited about because it has macros. Yeah. Now this has a macro. Yes. The SN30 Pro Plus works with Steam, Android, Mac, Windows, and Raspberry Pi. More importantly, it is compatible with the Nintendo Switch. With the release of Mario Maker 2, plenty of players are on the lookout for more classic feeling controller with a D-pad that Nintendo didn't put that, that Nintendo didn't pull from the pits of modern console hell. Uh, SN30 Pro Plus looks to be the perfect remedy for such a problem. 8BitDo designed the controller to play modern and classic games without sacrificing the retro feel that fans go all out for. It will also come at a reasonable price. Players can pre-purchase it on Amazon for $50. I don't know if I should pre-purchase it. I'm going to email them. Yeah. They're weird. They, they send me things at a weird yeah. rate. You know? Yeah. Uh, uh, this was announced a while ago, this controller. Over a year ago. Yeah. And then it just went silent. And it's all anybody ever talks to me yeah. about. When are they going to make this controller? Yeah. And Your time it, is now, guys. Yes. It, um, and it looks like the reason why it was delayed was because they were adding more features to it, including the uh, the, the customization. Yeah. yeah. Most importantly. They got new colors. We got... Uh, the... Uh, we got su the Super Nintendo colors. Yes. The, the muted purple. Uh, we got the Game Boy colors, mm -hmm. like with the purple buttons, the red purple buttons, and then an all black edition. The all black is kind of cool. Yeah, it's sexy as hell. I, I kind, I still kind of like the Game Boy one. Yeah, no, the the other ones look nice, but I mean that all black one is sexy as hell. All black one's pretty sexy. Yeah. Uh, I did not know it had a software with macros and stuff. It looks like you can also um, a trigger sensitivity adjust the what does it say? Adjust the maximum. And minimum ranges of your triggers to yeah. act faster. So, hold on. This is a big deal to me. This is one of the reasons why I like the PDP uh, uh, GameCube controller more. Yeah. Um, does this make the physical resistance lower? Like, you know how on, like, a uh, GameCube controller? Yeah. You have to push really far for them to go? Yeah. Will this make it so that you physically don't have to go that far? Or will I, it make I'm it so that, sure. so that it just, that would it just require registers like, quicker? Like a hardware thing. Yes, you know? that's what I'm asking. It might just make it so that it registers quicker, because you can also set the sensitivity of the sticks. That's amazing. Yeah. There's, there's some great... 
ideas yeah. go, go floating around here. Uh, I'm all in. So previous people were asking me, like, uh, is this going to be your new favorite controller for the Nintendo Switch? And I said, I don't know. I kind of like the wired SN. Yeah. Pro- uh, that's the one I've been using now because mm-hmm. I don't need the motion controls when I'm playing Mario Maker. Yeah. And I like having wired controllers because I'm right there next to the system. And uh, I don't want to have to worry about battery life or anything. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like the wired one. But you got the grips, which isn't enough for me. Uh, but having the macro buttons, having the uh, adjustable triggers, this is now a contender again yes. for the best controller on the Switch. Other people were complaining about the $50 price. That's a lot for a third-party controller. That is a lot for a third-party controller. I mean, it's a lot for a first-party controller. I complain about the price of controllers all the time. I wouldn't say 50 is a lot for a first-party controller. It's. I'd say that's what they should be. That's what they should be. Uh, but they're always more than that. Yeah. Um, I was. I mean, 8-Bit Do has never steered us wrong. Right. So I feel like if they're willing to put the time and the money into a controller like this and they think $50 is a reasonable price for it, then I'm willing to like agree with them on that. Does this say anywhere that there's motion controls? I just kind of assumed that it had motion controls. I don't controls. think it's in the article, but I think... Wireless, rumble, and motion controls, yes. Yeah. Okay. They have. So it's it's got all the bells and whistles. Yeah. Um, I think $50 is perfectly reasonable. Mm-hmm. Um... I mean, it is a third-party controller, but 8-Bit do make some pretty solid third-party yeah. controllers. Uh, the Pro Controller's 70 bucks still. Yeah. So sometimes you can get it for 60 So this is a solid deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you think it's a lot, then don't get it. Get the yeah. freaking wired one. But this does a lot more than that. I don't know. We're going to have to see when I get my hands on it. Mm-hmm. A lot of people complain about like the d-pad drift or something on their 8-bit do controllers or like people have these weird complaints i have a million 8-bit do controllers and i've never had a problem oh and it's flood warning let me know there's a flood warning we're in the basement yeah (laughs) this is a bad Um, bad place i've seen yeah i've seen these like issues with d-pads and stuff and i've seen the hack where you put like um uh Whole reinforcements for like paper, loosely yeah, paper. Yeah, somebody sent me that, and I'm like, I'm not doing that. Apparently, that works really well. Um, but as far as I know, every time they re release one of the controllers, they improve it. So, like, when they went from the original model to like the, the Game Boy version, they improved it, and I'm sure this version will be the most improved. Yeah, so. well, hopefully, yeah. hopefully, they're fixing it. But again, I've never experienced a problem right. like that, so I don't know. I, I feel like people just, just it's like, oh, this is my favorite thing. So everybody's going to be like, oh, it's your favorite? It can't, yeah. be, your, can't be the best. <laughs> and then they have to like yeah. rip it apart. Look, you know? look for a problem, yeah. basically. Uh, AJ says, can I map short hop plus forward B to it? I think you can. Because I was yeah. looking at the, uh, at the macro software, and mm-hmm. you just literally write in the button presses that you want and it just yeah. doesn't i think it does them in order i don't know if you can map like both at the same time yeah i mean i'm sure you can um but yeah that'd be sick you just freaking map your your smash combos yeah whatever whatever's a true combo you just map it to the macro button and then boop that's it um now i'm reading the chat to see what everybody has to say about it uh, a little reckless says for the Pro Plus, can you show what's worth customizing when you do a vid on it, Bob? Uh, what do you mean, like what buttons or like what macros? I th- I mean I again for Smash Brothers, I think that's insane to to be yeah. able to like map combos to it or like the moves you do most. Like I'd have one button for up B. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, super chats here. We got a little reckless. New to macros, what'll be worth customizing on the Pro Plus? Macros are basically uh, you just you basically take the controller, you you do a bunch of movements on it, and then that gets mapped to one button. Yeah. So like people used to use them in World of Warcraft. They do mac they do macros for the mouse, and they would do a bunch of moves like a bunch of stuff yeah. on the screen and then they press one button and it just automatically does it yeah so like say you're playing street fighter and you want to pl- uh, perform a hadouken instead of doing quarter circle 
A, you just you type that into you know the program and you can set that to right trigger. Or in speed running, they call it tool assisted speed running. Yes. And uh, you can type in the exact movements to do, and then that'll be the movement every mm -hmm. single time. So you can make a Mario Maker level that's only beatable using your macro. Yes. Uh, Kyle Kilgore with $5. Love you, baby. Love you too, baby. All right. I can feel the rain coming in from the holes in the. <laughs> like wet? Not wet, but like the cool air. Oh, that's good yeah. because it's hot down here. It is. Uh, Sash McFlash says the new, the A button on my SN30 Pro is a also pooched. The hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Bad, I guess. All right, moving on. Yes, because there is still much to discuss here. Uh, all right, so this is kind of we're getting into, into some controversy. Here. Oh boy. Uh, Polygon says, no, Pokemon Sword and Shield is not reusing models from recent Pokemon games. So this is from like last Saturday. Okay. But it kind of like blew up on Twitter. Everybody's fighting with each other and stuff. And it's like, it's like, a, come on, guys. Mm -hmm. I don't want to name names, but there was one tweet in particular that I was like, this guy was like going on a tear. And I was like, you clearly don't know how <laughs> game development yeah. works. Um, the guy was talking about how uh, friggin' uh, Game Freak has has uh, 300 employees and Creatures Inc. has 100 employees. Like, yeah. how come they can't just uh, make more animations and stuff as if all of those people are working on this yeah. one game? They, they have three teams right now. One of them is working on this Pokemon game. Yeah. One of them is working on Town. And one of them is working on the next Pokemon game. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, that's already takes that 300 and splits it into threes. If yeah. the, all of those people are even working on those games, you got people who are working on PR, you got people who are doing other stuff, you know? Um, I think the last of us had like four character animators. Yeah. So like, that's probably what we're working with here mm -hmm. with Pokemon. Uh, but anyway, uh, and that's, it's another big controversy because, People are like, you got all these people working there. You got the biggest Pokemon game you're ever making in your life. Uh, how come we can't bring all of our Pokemon? How come all of the Pokemon can't make it into mm -hmm. this new game? Because they said that all, like the not every Pokemon will be able to be transferred into Pokemon yeah. Sword and Shield. According to Polygon, Game Freak's highly unpopular decision to limit Pokemon Sword and Shield's Pokedex spawned a rumor that the studio was reusing models from recent 3DS games, making it too much trouble to include older models. But an interview in Famitsu recently surfaced on social media and Pokemon subreddit specifically refutes this. Pause. I'm going to say some of the evidence is pretty damning. Yeah. It does kind of look like they're reusing either animations, mostly animations. Yeah. It looks like they're reusing animations. Some of the models look pretty similar. Mm -hmm. uh, the models this guy was on his little Twitter thread, the models this guy was was showing as an example are clearly different models. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, look at how similar these are. It's like, no, dude, those are different models. Um, but anyway, somehow this wasn't noticed uh, and Game Freak didn't repeat these explanations in their response two weeks ago. But developers rebuilt from scratch all of the models for Pokemon Sword and Shield, meaning the, the reused assets rumor is bunk. Or they're just lying. Yeah. <laughs> According to translation last month of the interview, also last month, why is this so old? Game Freak's uh, Junichi Masuda and Shigeru uh, Omori said that it was difficult enough bringing in a full Pokedex, now numbering 809, into 2016's Pokemon Sun and Moon. The Switch's improved uh, graphics and visual fidelity has since lengthened the development time necessary to render Pokemon, uh, they explained. So the decision to limit a, a game's Pokedex would have been made sooner or later. It was made with Sword and Shield, so everyone's getting this out of their system now. A couple of finer points on this to remember. Uh, developments like Mega Evolution and Dynamax which affect all Pokemon, have considerable effect on development, balancing, and artwork to give a sense of what Game Freak is staggering under after 20 years of games. And further, 
The Pokemon Home Storage System will be able to highlight Pokemon in future games, even if they're left out of Sword and Shield. That said, it's uncertain whether Pokemon will be added to the games in post-release updates. Uh, I want to see exactly what they said about it. Because Game Freak collaborates on Pokemon Sword and Shield and ability to bring in Pokemon, not in the Galar Pokedex, Pokemon Home and more. Uh, this article is too long <laughs> because like it, it eventually they were going to have to, yeah. Cause it's too much of a big jump. Yeah. It, it, you eventually, if you're going to have these high fidelity graphics, you're not going to be able to bring every single Pokemon. Yeah. It's we, too much at least work. not a launch. We, yeah. we like, this was an inevitability. Like this, this was going to happen sooner or later. And it, the, the problem is it happens sooner than expected. And it happened at a time when uh, the the first mainline Pokemon game on a home console was happening. If this was happening on like the next one, it probably wouldn't have been a problem because this is supposed to be the big one. Everyone expected everything. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the the problem. And people are ripping it apart for having like these weird, like. Uh because it, it doesn't look that like it looks good for a Pokemon game, but it yeah. doesn't look that great in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Like it's not Breath of the Wild beautiful, but yeah. like it's a freaking Pokemon game, guys. It, the graphics aren't what you're buying it for. Yeah, you know, Pokemon has never been you know a hyper realistic you know CryEngine three or whatever game. You know, it's it's a stylized animated cartoony world. It's going to look more like a cartoon than it will you know Tomb Raider or something. Uh, basically everything in this article is what we just read. Yeah. Uh, with the sh shift of uh, the Switch, the amount of time needed to make the graphics more beautiful and the animations more lively has increased and all that stuff. Um, again, some of the evidence that they're reusing assets is pretty damning, but also every freaking game on the planet does that. Every e movie studios reuse, oh, yeah. reuse animation assets. Um, I went to Titmouse once <laughs> at, as, <laughs> as like a class trip with this yeah. class i was taking and they were working on i probably shouldn't even say that but i didn't sign an nda so it's there you go they're working on a turbo like a cartoon for that little snail yeah turbo thing. yeah yeah um and the turbo guy did like some like weird jump thing and the animator was showing us how he was animating and he goes yeah so this one jump that he does here i took it from a different scene because if you could save time why not yeah and that's it happens. That's a, a animation studio who's getting all this money from like DreamWorks or whoever made Turbo. Yeah. So like, if they're reusing assets, everybody's freaking reusing assets, dude. That's just mm -hmm. how it is. Um, if you could save time, you could save time. Nobody's gonna afraid. It's not like IGN's gonna be like, ah, they reused assets. Yeah, uh, <laughs> too much water. Seven, seven out, out of ten. Of, yeah, seven, uh, seven out of ten. So, I'm trying to think because I remember not Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat X. Uh, reuse a lot of character assets for background characters and animations. Mm -hmm. And that was like the first next-gen Mortal Kombat game. But like, I don't remember anybody talking about it when it came if out. If you do too much, yeah. this is a problem. Yeah. You know? I understand. Yeah. But, again, this is Pokemon. Yeah. Like, let's chill a little bit. I think, but Wait I think the all, game comes out. I think then... also because it's Pokemon, people are like, it's much more under the microscope yeah. than your average game. Don't forget... We're getting a bunch of new Pokemon, too. Yes. So they might be reusing some assets from old Pokemon games, even mm -hmm. though they're saying they're not. But um, we're still getting completely new assets for a whole bunch of completely new Pokemon. Yeah. So don't forget about that, you know? Game's got freaking a thousand Pokemon in it. Give them a break. Uh, Luna Skies says the ability to output to HDMI doesn't change that it's a handheld. Uh... Oh, he's talking about something completely different. Never yeah. mind. I'm sorry. I read that. Uh, Vinny keeps asking me about this gamepad, and I'm just going to freaking put him in a timeout because he's asked it a thousand times, and I don't want to read it. Which gamepad? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, Anthony K, K says, Salt was real when they first announced it. LOL. Got me some popcorn and Coke and enjoyed the show personally, but I understand where people are coming from, even though it's not something that mattered to me. Here's the thing. If you're complaining about this National Dex business or yeah. the animation that's going on there, uh, 
you're either a huge Pokemon fan and you're gonna get the game anyway. Yeah. Or you're just watching it from a distance, bitching about something you don't know anything about. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like you don't care at all about Pokemon, so yeah. what's it even matter to you? So whatever. Uh AJ says, to be fair, Nintendo said Smash Ultimate was, quote, from the ground up, pre-launched, but uh Sakurai walked that back so they could be ex- exaggerated how much new assets they're using. Yeah. Again, Game Freak themselves said these are all new assets. Yeah. But I don't really believe them. Mm-hmm. But I I would I, it's still a lot more work that they're putting into this game than other people are letting yeah. on is what I'm trying to say. Like they're probably reusing some things, but like people are posting stuff and they're like, look at how similar these are. And it's like, those aren't though. Those aren't the same. They're, yeah. they're one of them is clearly higher resolution. Also, Sakurai is a crazy man and always puts himself in the hospital when he makes Smash yes. Brothers games. <laughs> I mean, I'd imagine so, that the people who work on Pokemon are probably Yeah, like, I'm sure they're working very crazy ha- too. Yeah, you know? I'm sure they're working very hard. But they're rational enough to know that it's a game. It's not worth their help. <laughs> we don't know that. Maybe they're just quiet about it. Maybe. Because those people, you know, it's Japan. They, they, we complain about crunch over here. They, yeah. that's just they eat, sleep, and breathe crunch. Yeah. You know, they just live that's that just life. That, you yeah. know. So, anyway, it's time to move on. Yeah, to- we got a uh, Tommy Francis uh, donated two Canadian dollars in the super chat. Uh, Tim Carr, uh, two American dollars. Uh, Spencer Curtis with two dollars. Got to use this free super chat somewhere. Thanks, man. Might as well use it here. Matt Man with two dollars. Wii U gamepad in, uh, integration for the Switch for TV mode. Get out of my face with that. I saw some people try to like the, use the Switch Lite as the gamepad for the Switch. Probably not going to happen. Probably not going to happen. But imagine being able to play games multiplayer with somebody who's playing on a TV and you're playing on your Switch Lite. That's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. going to be really cool. And my best friend in the whole wide world, LKM Cherokee with $5. Hey, Will, thoughts on Justice League 28, the beginning of Year of the Villain? My criticism is there were too many tie-ins for Year of the Villain. Uh, that is the problem with every single event is that there are a million tie-ins. Nine times out of ten, you do not have to read the tie-ins. Don't read the tie-ins for Year of the Villain. Don't ask me to read the tie-ins for Year of the <laughs> Villain because I'm not going to. The only one I'm going to read is the, the Joker one because that's being written by John Carpenter. <gasps> that's the guy. The John Carpenter. He does music. And movies, <laughs> but also music. Um, Justice League 28 was all set up for Year of the Villain, um, and it went by it was like really fast paced. That might just been caused I was reading it real fast. Um, but yeah, it was all set up for what's coming. So I, I felt like they could have done that better. Basically, sorry, my wedding ring slammed on the. You're married? Yeah, surprise. <laughs> we got. Two things to get out of the way real quick. Yes. Some game announcements. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 launches on Halloween. Appropriate. That's really it. Uh, yeah. To no one's surprise, Luigi's Mansion 3 will launch on Halloween for Nintendo Switch. Nintendo confirmed the launch date on Wednesday morning. Really? Did anyone think this would arrive on a date other than October 31st? I guess I got to play it. You played it. I did. And you said that was good. I had a lot of fun, yes. I might have to get this. Should I get it? I mean, you don't really like Luigi's Mansion. Here's the thing. I think that the reason I didn't like Luigi's Mansion so much on the GameCube was yeah. because I was one of those guys who was like, where's my Mario game? <laughs> and yet, we all knew it was coming if you just waited. Yeah, but I was like, dude, I want a Mario yeah. game on my freaking GameCube. I got to sit here with freaking Luigi sucking up ghosts. I don't I that. traded that in, and I regret it because now if I wanted to rebuy it, it's $50. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. We... We traded in very few games. Yeah. That was one of them. Yeah. Another one was Tony Hawk 3 because I was upgrading to Tony Hawk 4. And supposedly I traded in Pokemon Red and Blue. Yes. When did that happen? I don't, I don't know. remember that. We got them back. Yes. But that was a thing that happened. Uh, the rain is coming down hard. Yes, it is. The other announcement. This is wild. Yeah. Now you can own a physical version of Tetris 99 with all the latest DLC and, and one year of Nintendo Switch Online subscription for $30, uh, $29.99. Yes. Grab your copy in stores and start playing on September 6th. How much does a Switch Online uh, cost for a year? 20 It's 20 Okay, so for $10 more, you get a physical cart and all the DLC. Correct. 
That's a good deal. That's a very good deal. How much is the DLC? I didn't even know it had DLC to be completely. It has honest. DLC, and I think that's there's more than one pack of DLC. I'm gonna look it up. So you're basically getting all the DLC for ten dollars. Uh, this is all gonna be articles about the new thing later. Uh, Later this year, two offline local multiplayer modes will be added to Tetris 99's Big Block DLC. Up to eight friends can battle together in local arena while two players can share Joy-Con controllers in two-player share battle. That's really cool. But yes. how much is that? Buy now. Let's oh, buy it. The, first, the first comment. Um, Cle Cleo Zamortis. You're not watching, so I'm, but I'm sorry I butchered your name. It's not that great of a deal. Tetris 99 is free with Switch Online. Uh, the DLC is $9.99. One year of Switch Online is $19.99. So this ends up being the exact same price as purchasing it individually with the extra added inconvenience of needing a cartridge. There you go. So you go. you're not saving any money. You're just getting a physical version of it. Yeah. All right. I mean, listen. Some people like physical games. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Now they're just making a now they're just making a package yeah. deal. I don't. I mean, it's. I'm not gonna be mad Somebody's about it. Somebody's gonna buy this game. It's it's like they have physical copies of Fortnite. Yeah, and there's idiots who buy that. Yeah, because you know there's you know there's still people who like like physical collections of games. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing a video a while back. Some guy owned every single Wii uh, original Wii game that came out in North America, and it's like three thousand games. That's a crazy. Person. Yeah, that's what we call a crazy person. Uh, there's more to talk about. Like, for example, this is a little weird thing. I like uh, Kotaku has a great title for the article of this, oh, yeah. of this uh, deal here. Uh, Deja Pu. <laughs> Nintendo deletes another Mario Maker level by popular speedrunner. So Grand Pooh Bear yes. is a Kaizo speedrunner of uh, Mario games, not just Mario Maker. Yeah. You know, like like yeah, Mario like, World and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. There's Rom Hacks named after him mm -hmm. um and he's very good he also makes some great mario maker levels he makes levels that are also like kind of mini tutorials that teach you how to shell jump and stuff yeah so he's a very important person in the mario maker community um popular speedrunner and mario maker level creator uh said tuesday morning that nintendo is once again deleting his mario maker levels this time targeting his popular super expert course in Mario Maker 2 for the Switch called Pile of Poo Kai Zero G. Now, I didn't know that. What, that, that it was called Pile of Poo? That's probably why they yeah. deleted his, the, the, the name of it. Uh, he said, I am at a loss for words and extremely sad about this, said the creator, uh, David Grand Pooh Bear uh, Hunt, in a Twitter thread. He did go on a Twitter tear about it. Uh, Hunt is well known in the Mario Maker community for his streaming, speedrunning, and creating some of the series' most challenging levels. Kai Zero G is one of those. Part of the tradition of Kaizo levels uh, that are known for being incredibly difficult and breaking the normal rules associated with official Mario levels. Kai Zero G is set in Mario Maker 2's new low gravity setting, forcing players to make meticulously timed jumps, catches, and throws, generally while slowly falling into an open pit. It blew up in Mario Maker 2 shortly after Hunt released it, with videos of other people playing it, uh, garnering hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. Now the level is gone, and he has no idea why. According to a screenshot, uh, Hunt shared of an email from Nintendo he received earlier today, the course violated a pro prohibition on inappropriate and or harmful content but hunt says there was nothing offensive in the level that he can think of quote it contained no inappropriate words pictures etc it contained no glitches he said on twitter but the name was pile of poop yeah <laughs> he also believes that the problem does not uh lie with the word poo in his online alias or in the level's title he says quote I've been told specifically by people at Nintendo that it's not due to my name being Pooh multiple times. He said on Twitter, nothing that the Pooh part of his handle comes from a character. Oh, noting that the Pooh part of it, uh, his handle comes from the character in the game Earthbound. Additionally, Hunt's display name is simply GPB in Mario Maker 2. That said, the phrasing pile of Pooh on the in the level's title is certainly suggestive 
of something other than a fan favorite Earthbound character, which might have triggered Nintendo's famously opaque moderation, regardless of what Hunt told in the past. Uh, I think it's more than this, and he got other levels deleted. Like, yeah, I don't think he could upload levels anymore, which is really sad. Yeah, uh, like the one level being deleted because it's called Pile of Poo. I understand. Yeah, just remake the level, uh, change the name. You mm-hmm. know, they should say that because he's such a prominent Mario Maker yeah. player. But also, the the title of this article is Deja Poo because this happened in Mario Maker One. Yeah, he got all of his levels deleted one mm-hmm. day in Mario Maker 1. And they weren't all titled like that. You know, like, something happened, you yeah. know? Oh, and it says, this is the first time uh, uh, Nintendo deleted Hunt's levels back in 2016. The company deleted all of Hunt's levels in the first Mario Maker. Nintendo strikes. Yeah. <laughs> A body of work that accumulated uh, cumulatively took him over a hundred hours to construct. At the time, it didn't it did not tell him why it deleted the levels. At the time, Hunt told uh, Kotaku that he felt like Nintendo was going after him specifically for having called out some of Nintendo's policies with regard to the Mario Maker community. Nintendo uh, at that time did not respond to Kotaku's request for comment. So they're after going after a prominent Mario Maker player. Yes, Nintendo. Uh, no, notably tone deaf a lot of the time. Yes. Uh, I would say this would be one of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're really not... They have such a large community, Nintendo, and yeah. they don't really cultivate that community in a yeah, it's, way it's, that they should. You know? It's surprising how like hands-off they are some of the time, and then hands-off they are for the worst reasons. I feel like it, it needs to go their way. Yeah. Or else they'll just be like, oh, we want nothing to do with that. Yeah. And like, this is one of those times. It's you're, you're, uh, I think you're live. Okay. Hi, can you see me? Uh, we should be good. Chat's back. I hit. I don't see it on the. Uh, Hold on. Here? I just hit refresh. Everyone's saying that we're back, but then they're still. We're still talking about like what we were talking about. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's, your big dumb face. There's my big dumb face. Uh, yes. So yeah, power went out. Yeah, uh, we lost power. Uh, it, it is lightning and thundering and raining here on Long Island. Uh, so if you've been watching my previous streams, yeah, um, you know that. We have an issue with the breaker here in the basement. Yeah. But I have a workaround with, for that, and that's a giant extension cord <laughs> going upstairs. But this is completely different. The whole house just went yeah. out because there's a lightning storm over here. So that might happen again. Yeah. Nothing we can really do about that, except go really fast and try to finish yes. the street before something happens. Gotta go fast. Um, um, so Deja Poo ex- happened. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, Grand Pooh Bear is uh, got the shaft, and you know what? He's gonna keep getting the shaft. And that's really unfortunate because yeah. you know what? Nintendo is very bad at cultivating their own community. Yeah, I, I was saying before, uh, if things don't go their way, they don't want. They're completely hands off. Yeah, in the Smash Brothers community, they're completely. They have their own like tournaments and stuff, but you have to have items on and all this yeah. crap, and people don't like that. So there's a separate Smash Brothers community that's much bigger and very strong, and Nintendo wants nothing to do with it for some yeah. reason. So. And uh, my foot fell asleep. Boo anyway. On Why is it darker? Does it look It does darker? look darker. Why, though? My foot is very much asleep. <laughs> Why is I it don't... asleep? <laughs> I don't know. Are you Hunting... not used to these chairs? I guess not. Uh, f- anyway, moving on. Um, I don't know how to... How do you pronounce this name? G-H-U-Z-E. Goose... Uh, he's Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> Goose with 10 Canadian dollars in the Super Chat. National decks, poor graphics, and disappointing sun moon. Sun and moon means I won't be getting the new Pokemon at launch. As long as, as a longtime fan, it's sad, but it's not like I don't have enough games to play. Love the show. Okay, that's cool, man. You do you. Use that money you spent on Pokemon and keep sending it to us in Super Chats. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a... You have to see if this game's going to be great. Yeah. Regardless of what it's going to look like. I mean, look, like, if you, know? you feel strong enough about like this position to not want to get the game and you stand by your guns, then 
you know, I, that says something. I think that says more than somebody who bitches and moans about it and then goes buys the game anyway. A lot of people weren't a big fan of uh, Pokemon uh, uh, Let's Go. Yeah. A lot, a lot of people who are big into Pokemon were like, I'm not getting Let's Go. I've already played that game a million times. I'm going to yeah. wait for the new Pokemon game to come out. And, then, then, and that made a little bit of sense. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's plow through some more stuff. Yes, here, uh, Super Monkey Ball is heading to the Switch. Thank God. Oh, we should have done this with the other game, yeah. with the other games. Uh, I'm excited to get a Super Monkey Ball game. Yes, uh, this is essentially a port of Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. It's the HD version. Banana Blitz was a Wii launch title. And mm-hmm. It was one of the, the better Wii launch titles because it used the motion controls fairly well. Um, now it's coming to the Switch. Cool. I am excited yeah i'm gonna play this twitter video okay let's not play the audio please uh monkey ball is awesome yeah no monkey ball is great and i think it'll be a great fit for the switch even like especially if they add the motion controls in there but yeah, i'm not gonna be mad if they don't add them i'm not, yeah i don't i don't really want to play with motion yeah. controls nobody wants to play with motion controls and then when resident evil doesn't put them in there oh but it's, it's, it's a shitty port nah, nah. these people are dumb yeah uh i didn't know this is an hd remake yeah but uh, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't play the original. I'm down for that. Was this I, a GameCube game? It was a Wii launch title. Oh, okay. And I played it at like a demo kiosk. And it was good. You know, they have an arcade game. Yeah. And it's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. I'm excited. It's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next. Yes. Uh, an odd Xbox Switch bundle. Oh yeah, this is interesting. You said you already got some stuff on Prime. Yeah, got the uh, I got American I got a uh, 400 gig micro SD card from a Switch. I bought Poopery because it was That's on good. sale. Yes, That's necessary. That saved my marriage. Um, <laughs> and I bought some comics that were on sale. Paper Girls volumes one and two. Good uh, stuff. I was going to buy a lens. Yes. And I decided against it. And I was going to buy the the only thing that I saw on Prime deal. You know that little? It's like an LED clock looking thing. Yeah. But, but it sh- could show you your YouTube subscriber count. Yeah. That was on sale. But then I was like, I don't really need that. Yeah. So I didn't get it. There wasn't a lot for Prime Day. Like, the, the all the good deals were in hard drives. <laughs> and the Apple Watch, which I missed and completely screwed up my order, so I couldn't get it. But Well, this is a Nintendo Switch with neon blue and neon red Joy-Con. Uh-huh. And an Xbox One S, one terabyte, all digital gaming console. That's crazy. For $444. That's... All things considered, that's a very good price for two, two video game deal. systems. Uh, oh, it also comes with Minecraft, Sea of Thieves, and Forza. Well, the all digital edition comes with those three games. Right. Yeah. Uh, that Again, this is a great deal. I don't know who the hell this is for, though. Yeah, I would have loved to know who bought this. This is for somebody who just had a house fire and yeah. needs to rebuy some consoles. Or somebody who's just like, you know what? I love video games now and like needs to get everything. Oh, this wasn't even on Amazon. This was on Google Express. Yeah, I don't know. They call it Prime Deals. A lot of companies were having their own Amazon Prime Day. Oh, it says post, post Prime yeah. Days Deals. If you use the promo code Go True, you, you get it for uh, $400. So $44 off. I think I figured out what the problem was. Yeah. You got to reset the camera. Just do this. Oh, there you go. Done. Now we're brighter again. Um, I mean, if you if you don't already own those two systems, that's a great deal. Yeah, but again, like who who's buying two game consoles at the same time? True. That's weird. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of other companies were doing like their own. Like Target had a big one, uh, in store and online. Uh, my favorite was eBay. They called it Crash Day, where they had all their sales. <laughs> But if Amazon crashed, they would double all the discounts. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. So, I mean, I let me know who that's for. Yeah. Like, what's a use case for that? I that's thought this work? was Amazon because they, they could tell you, like, how many people... If it was a lightning deal, they'll tell you, like, how many people, like, got it. But it's not. So, there's that. <laughs> wait, wait. Goose in the chat says, I had a house fire and my insurance screwed me over. I have nowhere to go, but at least I have a sad Xbox and Sea of Thieves. So I'm good. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> it's but listen, it's kind of funny. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. It's still lightning and thundering over here. Yeah. Thundering. I can't tell if it's lightning. Light lightning is just the the 
the the light and thunder is the I sound. know the difference between okay. lightning and thunder well. <laughs> okay. I'm saying listen, if a tree falls in the wood doesn't make sound did did did, did it and no one's around here it didn't make sound. I can't see the lightning. Yeah. I can only assume that it's thundering. Mm-hmm. I can only assume that it's lightning. I'm not making sense with words that are coming out of my mouth. My I Nintendo Japan offering a Switch Lite case. Oh, They're, yeah, this is... Oh, this is not the last thing. They're already offering Switch Lite cases, and they come in the same colors as the Switch Lite. Yes, these cases are cool. Here they are. Wow. Yeah. So I, I, I would assume you could expect these. Well, do you know what that says on the bottom? I have no idea. That says, yellow, gray, and turquoise. Ah, <laughs> Makes, I only, makes I only, sense. I only know that from the uh, the Switch Lite little trailer video. Did they say how much those would cost? No, I have no okay. idea. It doesn't say. Uh, All right. Can we go to the website, though? Because then we could probably figure it out. All right. There's well, no link to the website, is there? Okay. Well, then, uh, last thing, Hasbro is trying to crowdfund this massive $574 Transformer. I had to put this on. Yes. Here, this is awesome. This is insane. Um, so a little backstory. So Hasbro has this thing called HasLab where they cr- basically crowdfund big ass, expensive, ridiculous ass toys. Why is Cookie Monster on? Because Cookie Monster is the second HasLab uh, creation. I don't know if you know this about me, Will. What? I love Cookie Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie Monster is awesome. How much is this giant Cookie Monster? Wait, is he a puppet or what is this? No, he's a, he's a plush toy, but he's life sized. So he's the actual size of the puppet. <laughs> uh, all right. It's $300. Yeah. But, uh, and I think the campaign's still going, so you have time. <laughs> I'm going to get to do the life size. If he was an actual puppet, I might. Yeah. I might buy it. <laughs> but $300 and it's just a plush? I don't know yeah. about that. Okay. So uh, Hasbro's n- nascent crowdsourcing portal, HasLab, has sprung back to life uh, more than a few times. More than a year after his first project went live, its first project, of course, was Jabba's sail barge, a full-scale version to the uh, three and three-quarter inch uh, Star Wars figures. Right now, fans can pay up front for a screen-accurate, posable reproduction of Cookie Monster, <laughs> or they can chip in their, for their own copy of the biggest Transformers toy ever. Both campaigns are timed to coincide with San Diego Comic-Con, which is this week or next week? Uh, it's soon. I'm pretty sure it's got to be this week. Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow then, I guess. Has Labs announced in February, so we missed that. Um, oh, yeah, no. This In February, they announced um, the Cantana, which is the four-foot-long reproduction of Jabba's sail barge from Return of the Jedi. Uh, backers could pre-order it uh, for $500, but Hasbro would only make it if at least 5,000 people signed up. 8,800 people signed up and around uh, $4.4 million were earned. Fans received their sale barges in a timely fashion. A good portion of them stayed sealed inside the box where they're being sold on eBay for uh, $1,200. Jesus. Age Christ. Well, yeah. Okay. Now more than a year later, uh, Hasbro is back to the well. A few days ago, it was announced a campaign to build an elaborate version of Cookie Monster uh, with a $300 price tag. I can't believe I missed the Cookie Monster with, one. <laughs> it's still going. With a minimum order of 3,000 units. On the other end of the spectrum is a 27-inch tall model of Unicron, the planet-eating robot from Transformers the movie. The commercial shows posable rings and a working mouth. He was only in Transformers the movie? He debuted in Transformers okay. the movie. He came back in like other things. I think right. he's in one this of the Michael Bay movies. Movie this is the 80s movie. Yeah, the 80s animated movie. This is the 80s animated version of Unicron. The best Transformers movie. Yes. Still. Although I haven't seen Bumblebee and I heard that's very good. I heard that's very good. I, I, I have a that. copy of it. I need to watch it. Um, the 80s Transformers movie is very good. Yeah. But like in like a... In, in like, like an a 80s rid- cartoon way. Yes, yes. In like a ridiculous... I saw it in... Uh, they played it at Nighthawk, the theater yeah. in Brooklyn, and I saw it, and I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. Seeing it in a theater was awesome. Yeah. And then the people I went with when we left the theater, I was like, that was amazing. And my friends were like, that was awful. Yeah. <laughs> friends just can't appreciate it. I had the best time. Yeah. <laughs> the best part is the music. Oh, yeah. The music's incredible. You got Weird Al's Weird on Weird Al's it. on the soundtrack. And it's an original song. It's uh, Yeah, it's not a parody. It's a, it's this Devo cover. Uh, Devo rip, though. Dare to be stupid. 
It's a Devo rip? It's Devo, yeah. It's I thought he, it was an original song. It's an original song, but it's in the style of Devo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dare to be stupid. Uh, you got you got the touch. Yeah, Stan Bush. You got the touch and Dare. Uh, yeah, and they, they come in at the perfect time. Yes. It's such a good... It, the, the, there's only like maybe... 5% of the movie that doesn't have music behind it. Yeah. And all the music is like a ripping 80s yeah. like guitar solo. Yeah. So it's a good movie. Uh, and now you can buy Unicron. Unicron uh, is has a price tag of $574.99 with a minimum order of 8,000 units. Both campaigns run for 48 days. All told, that's roughly $5.5 million in revenue required in the, in the last two months. In less than two months. So $5.5 million is needed to make both these things happen in less than two months. That's insane. I want to see the Cookie Monster real quick. This is, oh clearly God, a is. Sign, this is clearly a sign of where we're headed with big ticket collectibles. After the collapse of Toys R Us, there's less retail shelf space than ever before. Uh, so just putting the G.I. Joe aircraft carriers out there on a retail market to see if anyone buys them is more of a gamble than it ever has been before. I don't know if Cookie Monster is going to make it, guys. He's, look at how much he's got to go, man. Oh, jeez. He's only got 244 backers. Oh, he's 3,000, man. I might have to. Yeah, we might have to. We might it. have to save Cookie Monster. Yeah. I might need to throw down 300 bucks. How's Unicron doing? Unicron, honestly. I bet you Unicron's like. Unicron's not way. doing too good either. I, I would have expected more. I think he's going to make it. There's still yeah. a lot of time. Uh, but. He's got a he's got twelve hundred backers and he needs eight thousand. Yeah, well, it's only forty five days. So, also he's like gonna be this big, like from table to here. Uh, they don't have a. I I saw a picture of him compared to an Optimus toy. Yeah, and he's insanely. Oh big. yeah. When he's uh the guy, he's two yeah. feet tall. Yeah. When he's the planet. He's two and a half feet yeah, he comes in with the, diameter yeah. with the the rings. Yeah. That, it's two and a half. And he has his own stand. Yeah, that's insane. Now, a little bit of trivia. They've been trying to make a Unicron toy since the first Transformers movie. They eventually did make one for Transformers Armada, the cartoon. He was like this big. Mm -hmm. And like he was not to scale. Like Optimus Prime was the same size as him. And every time they were like, you know, re-release Unicron or make a new Unicron toy. It was just that same toy, just colored differently or with like different accessories. This is a brand new figure, and it's the largest Transformer <laughs> they've ever made. I have, but it's also is this the most expensive? Because it's five hundred and like probably bucks? yeah. I I would love to see a, a real time video of how long it takes to transform this thing. Yeah, it probably takes forever. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I thought this was funny because my friend sent it to me and then I was like, yo man, well, I'll, I made a tweet about it. I said, looking for a new apartment so I can buy that 2.5 foot tall Unicron toy Hasbro might be making. And then I photoshopped a <laughs> street easy post for a Bushwick apartment. And it's just, it's just a room with the Unicron toy in it. And it says three rooms, one bed, one bath, one Unicron. <laughs> so it's like very important. There's a limit of five per customer. Oh, five? <laughs> I should have put five in here. Because my my friend is looking for apartments in LA. Yeah. And I was like, you gotta go, if you're going to buy this, you got to go. So I noticed on the listing you didn't have a Unicron. Yeah. What's a, uh, can I get a bonus room for the Unicron? Oh, man. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, if anybody would like to crowdsource my, uh, the, my Unicron. Yeah. Please let me know. Uh, Trevor Collins, my brother-in-law, back to this dumb crap. <laughs> Cameron says, I had a Unicron when I was younger. You had the tiny one. Yeah. Uh, all right. AJ says, get, guys, let's get our pennies together. Yeah. I bet you, with all the people watching, if we got our pennies together, we can afford one Unicron. Yeah. Uh, Ethan R. with $2. Uh, thoughts on the new Kingsman movie? Did you see the trailer for that? I haven't seen a single Kingsman movie. Me ever neither. Is this the fourth one? This is the third one. It's a okay. prequel. It's called The King's Man. I hate that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of like in a love-hate relationship with Mark Millar. Some of the things I like are really good. Some of the things I like are... Some of his stuff is less like, Yo, I'm Mark Millar. I'm, I'm a big deal. Look at me. I, I have all these Netflix friends. But he says it in a Scottish accent. Will? Yes. Tweet of the week or unboxing? 
unboxing. Okay. While you get the boxes, I'll read um, Shane, Shane's five Canadian dollar super chat. Hey, you beautiful man. Love the realistic expectation you have about the video game scene. It's refreshing. What? What did I do? I, I don't know. I guess all the Pokemon talk. All right. We got a bunch of stuff here, Will. Yes. We do have a lot of stuff. All the things. <laughs> all right. The first thing, Will, are these chips. Now, this I ordered myself. Yes. But I wanted to do it in the beginning, but we had too much to do in the beginning. Okay. Uh, they came from Amazon okay. in... Uh, First of all, these were $13. Yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, they came in a bag, so if they're crushed, that's why. Yeah. These are called the Whole Shebang Super Seasoned Snacks. Uh, somebody told me about these during a Twitch stream. It was Ethan XD14. AJ took a screenshot and saved it for me. Uh, he said, just wondering if I'm going to get a shout out for the chip idea in Wolf Den Live. Here's your shout out. This is your shout out. Uh, so thank you for this idea. So well, these chips are seasoned with every flavoring that chips can possibly be seasoned with. Oh God. So like barbecue and like- S uh, Salt and vinegar. Yeah, like and all of those. French onion. Um, they're only available in US prisons. <laughs> so the only way to get them is to do time. Wow. Or spend $13 on Amazon. I'd imagine that if people spend some time in prison, yeah, they uh, get turned on to these chips and then they get out of prison and they're like, where the hell are these chips? I want these chips. So we're going to try these chips. Okay. Oh, they're actually in surprisingly good shape here. You got you to gotta whiff the bouquet okay. well. <laughs> Like, it doesn't smell bad at first, then, like, everything comes in. It's a very yeah. strong bouquet. Those are good. You get every flavor. I don't... Well, ah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Surprisingly, I don't hate them. These are very good, but you... I taste a little bit of ketchup. I'm tasting the salt and mm. vinegar. I'm tasting the barbecue. Oh, God. I'm tasting every little thing. Yeah. Also... I like to point out the bag is this full. Yeah. Well, it's down to here. That's all potato chip bags. I know, but I'm just saying. So for thirteen dollars, you get that much. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. These are very good. Not worth doing time. The vinegar is very strong. Yeah. Not worth doing time, but they're very good. All right. Um, let's do this one first. Yeah. This one is from. Stride PR, so this must be some sort of game. Ooh. Ooh, there's chocolate in here. Ooh. Yeah, do something with that. Okay. This is a bag. Let's go says, nuts. Oh! Let's go nuts. I've heard of this game. It's a comic. Oh, this is... Is this, is this for me? Is it for you? I think I received a tweet of this. Oh, that's a tote bag. Yes. Uh, n no, this is not for me. Oh, too bad, Will. Okay. Uh, who is it addressed to? Wolf Den. There's a card. Let's go nuts. I have to say, the printing uh, could have been better. Oh, there's the <laughs> this, is, this is the code. Oh. It's on this little tiny thing. Uh, let's go nuts. The wacky multiplayer platformer from bearded brothers games uh bounds onto onto nintendo switch on july 17th 2019 dastardly aliens have invaded the once peaceful forest filling it with toxic waste goo spitting octopi and precarious platforms step into the furry uh, shoes of a heroic squirrel to dash through each level and bring peace to the critter kingdom once more here's here's a Steam crossed out, written above it. Switch key to get pause on. Let's go nuts. Thank you for that. Uh, I will oh, have to check it out. There's this, some candy. There's some chocolate in here. And the a squirrel USB looks drive. so sad that the aliens attacked him. <laughs> you have to help him, though. Yeah. Thank you for the that. USB drives probably art assets. This yeah. is a little nice, a little cute. All right. Uh, next, I will open. So this one, all right. There's two reasons we could have gotten this, Will. This is okay. called 
boxofmain.com. Okay. There's two reasons this could have come to our PO box. Okay. One is because somebody on stream the other day was talking about Main, and I was talking about Main to somebody. Yeah. The other reason is because I told, for some reason, it got brought up on stream that you have a, a, a shellfish allergy. Yes. And somebody could be trying to commit some sort of mm. uh, toxic warfare here. So, uh, I hope you brought Benadryl, Will. <laughs> I did, actually. It's in my pocket. <laughs> Might need some emergency Benadryl yeah. here. Let's hope a, a lobster doesn't pop out of here. I don't know why else we could have gotten a box of Maine. Heard Maine's very nice. Yeah. Why the hell would I ever go to Maine? Well, it's too know. far away. We've been to Maine. Like when we were younger. Oh, there's a picture of the box of Maine guys. Oh. Huh. Box of Maine. Here's the here's the here's the guys. Uh what is this? Black Dog Ironworks. That's apparently something from Maine. Huh. And just chips. Yeah, oh yeah, more chips. Humpty Dumpty. What is, what is, they put a box of Maine thing right on the top. So I can't even read the chips. Hold Ripples. On. All dressed. Oh! This must have been from the guy who was talking about the these. Yeah. All dressed. The, at Humpty Dumpty, we make flavor and explosive experience by using only the the highest quality potatoes and the most intensely flavored seasonings. Oh, so we can we can uh, we can compare and contrast. Compare and contrast. They got I, a picture of a lobster on it, but I think this has nothing to do with... Uh, I clicked lobsters. on an Amazon link to it just to see what it says, and it gave me uh, lightning cables. I'd imagine there'd be an allergy warning if there was anything. Uh... Yeah. All right. Well... Oh, these look like the same, but they're rippled. They taste the same. No. They do not taste the same. They smell similar. Much less salt and vinegar mm. flavor. I'd say these are lighter. Oh, these absolutely. These are definitely way stronger. Yeah. That's probably to keep all the prisoners in line. Thank you, whoever sent that. Oh. Um, those are probably way easier to get, the Humpty Dumpty chips, yeah. you gotta say. Whole shebang. Way more flavorful. There's also a spicy version of the whole shebang. Oh, God. We don't need that. Last box. This is from our buddies. Over at Marcelli. Oh boy. Expect a video. Uh, probably on Tuesday. If you saw our video from E3, then you know what this is. It's the M Classic. We'll tell everybody what the M Classic is. So Marseille is a company that makes um, these high-end HDMI cables. They're, they're like $100 for HDMI cables, but they have special processors in them that help to upscale and smooth out video images. Um, they, make, they make cables for DVDs and Blu-rays. They make cables for video ga games. And this, the M Classic, is basically if you have a pre-existing uh, HDMI cable, you plug this into your system, and you plug the HDMI cable into the TV and then into that, and it will clean up and upscale and make your image look super nice. So... It could. T they sent me a video today, actually, mm -hmm. uh, because they were worried about. They're kind of worried about how to display the difference because in real life you can see the difference. Yeah. Like when you're taking a video, you're you have to scale up the 1080p to match the 1440p. That yeah. Farts out. So they said the video of uh, Mario Kart 8 on the Switch running at 1080p and then running through here. At 1440p. Yeah. And it looks pretty damn nice. So this thing will upscale your Switch. Yeah. So if you've got games like The Witcher, which is 560 or whatever yeah. the hell it is, uh, you can get a substantial boost. I don't know exactly what the boost is. It depends on what resolution you're pumping yeah. into it. But uh, games that are 1080p, you can get 1440p out of it. Games that are uh, 720p, you could probably get 1080p out of it. So I'm going to be running this thing through a lot of tests. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. I'm excited. So thanks, guys. Uh, Total Nintendo says, try it with different resolutions the Switch has. I am 100% going to run it through a bunch of different games. Yeah. I'm going to have a busy week. 
that's it for the unboxing. Yes. Now it's time for the Tweet of the Week. Tweet of the Week! Tweet of the Week! Tweet of the Week! Uh, this one I just thought was funny. It's from another streamer. Her name is Paladin Amber, and there's a cuss word in it, Will, so get ready. Oh, great. Well, it's, the video's going to be two parts, so. Well, you're going to slap them together. Oh, the true, yeah. The same. Um, it'll be a little different, but you know. Yeah. All right, this is the tweet. The tweet's from Paladin Amber. It says, Toxic viewer, how much to let me see your feet? And then her response is, How much for foot play? I'll tell you how much. Hi, welcome into Paladin Amber Sales. That's right. Do you want to see foot play? I've got the solution for you. Now, for just a small fee of $19.95 plus shipping and handling, I'm going to tell you to get fucked. Get your foot fetish out of my chat. Get it right out of my chat. I don't want anything to do. I want it. Take it away right now. Get out. Uh, out. Okay, back to you guys. Pull this number down. I thought that was good. That was pretty I thought good. that was funny. She put up uh, a little thing that said, like, yeah, you know, for 1999. That, that was cute. And you have one? I have one. This is from uh, Jetpack Bragging. Oh, this is the guy who does uh, Gerard's uh, artwork. Thumbnails. Yeah. yeah. Uh, dad fighting game stages. Softball game, hardware store parking lot, family reunion public park, <laughs> family reunion pavilion, area, <laughs> area 51, clearance section at Coles, self storage unit, the cave, <laughs> DLC arenas, IKEA, and outdoor grill. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. That is pretty good. I was also, um, it was between this and Archie Comics had a tweet that said, We do not publish Richie Rich. Please stop asking us to do a gritty Richie Rich reboot. <laughs> <laughs> I would kind of assume that they did. I know, right? I I knew they didn't, but the fact that like people are asking them for it and they had to be like, stop it. Mm. Archie's got a good Twitter, man. You should, uh, you, you guys should follow Archie him. Comics. Archie Comics, yeah. Uh, they also do uh, Sonic. Yeah, not anymore. IDW to Sonic. They don't do Sonic. Stop asking them yeah. to do a Sonic, <laughs> a great Sonic reboot. Now we're in the chat talking to you guys. Yes. As always, you can reach us on Twitter using the hashtag WolfdenLive. If you left a comment on last week's WolfdenLive, this is the part of the show we will finally answer you. And of course, ladies and gentlemen watching at home, please start asking us your questions because we will get to them when we are done with everybody else. First, we got some super chats, though. Underscore with $2. Starting the Unicron Fund. Thanks, dude. Uh, TCG98 with 25 schmeckles. Actual dollars. I don't know why I should smack Yeah. Uh, nice gaming chairs. Thanks, man. You can get them at secretlab.com. Yep. Secretlabs.com. There's a link in the description. Secret Use the link. Co. Yeah, Use the link in the description because that's an affiliate link. It gives us some bones back. Yeah. You know? Uh, Crad48. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it. Bruce Patrick, $2. Bob, test Doom on Switch with the upscaler. I will 100% do that. Yeah, that would be a good test. I would love to see Mortal Kombat through that thing. Maybe it'll fix some stuff. We'll do that. Yeah. We will do that. Um, do you know what resolution that is? That's 720, right? I'd have to look. Yeah, but I think it's 720. All right. Let's go to the hashtag Wolf Den Live over here over on Twitter. Where did my hashtag go? Uh, I guess we'll start from a day ago. PJ Lagone says, I think the Amiibo theory on Smash DLC could be forgetting the possibility that, quote, the hero could have multiple Amiibo for the different palette swap versions of the character. Opinions? I don't know what the hell the Amiibo theory is. Me neither. I think that he could have different palette swap versions. Yeah. And probably will eventually. I don't well, know if he will immediately. So I know, because, like, with the hero, you can play as four different versions of the hero. Mm -hmm. And I know, at least with, like, Bayonetta, she's got two different amiibo. One for Bayonetta, one look. One for Bayonetta, two look. Uh, Cloud has both original look and uh, Advent Children look amiibo. Is this because they released a new trailer for the new Dragon Quest and there's an amiibo coming out and that's why people think that there's going to be a Smash DLC release? I don't know. Because there's a new trailer, and they yeah. say in the trailer, so there's something in the trailer that leads people to believe that it's coming out in August. Yeah. Um, but I, I haven't really kept up on it. Yeah. I'm not going to play as the hero in Smash. I don't. Really I mean, play. I'm sure you'll play as him once just to see what he's like. But... Probably will. Yeah. But how am I going to switch from my boy, you know? I know. Uh, Mike Forte, birthday weekend has officially begun. Join the quiet night in tonight with pizza, Mario Maker, and Wolf Den Live. That's a hell of a way to kick Sounds off like the birthday. A great night. Yeah. You should sprinkle some whole shebang chips on yes. there and have a party with yourself. 
Mr. Meech says, years ago, my little sister broke up with a dude and I guess he left his Xbox. She gave it to me and I just shelved it today. Cleaning, I opened it to find dude had two copies of Combat Evolved, Halo 2, one steelbook, and the map pack. What the F do I do with the extras? I thought you were going to say you opened it up and there was weed in it. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can always... Dude, I mean, why did he have two copies of all these I games? Know. He must have been one of those Xbox fans. When, like when the original Xbox came out, like they bought that because just for Halo, nothing else. So they bought like a thousand copies of Halo. I knew people like that. That's weird. Yeah. What uh, do you do with this? Play it. Yeah. Play it. Hook it up. Uh, you can. I know some company like uh, Hyperkin and uh, Pound make HDMI cables for it for the Xbox, so you can hook them up to original TV to modern TVs. Also, the original Xbox can do 720p through component. So if you have component ca- the component cables for it, you can do that too. Also, those games, you can pop them into your Xbox One, right? No. Also, those games, you can pop them into an Xbox 360, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can't pop them into an Xbox One? The Xbox One, only like 40 games, original Xbox games are compatible. And, and Halo not, is not, Halo one, is not of one of them. That is dumb. I know. Probably because they want you to get the Master Chief collection. That is true. Bernardo Ven- Venegas, Ven- Venegas, Venegas says, hey guys, I'm ha- I'm have been watching, I'm have been wanting to draw fan art of YouTubers and their favorite Pokemon for some time now, and I was wondering which is yours, so y'all be the first ones to make, well, I make. My favorite Pokemon, my favorite Pokemon's Goku. <laughs> Either Charmander or Charizard. I have Either a, one of those. I have a hard time deciding what my favorite Pokemon is. It's probably Mew, but I feel like that's too obvious of a Pokemon to, to choose. I just said Charizard. I know, that's pretty obvious. Well, that's lame. Will yeah, you I don't care. He's a fire dragon. My team in the original Pokemon mm-hmm. was always either, it was always the three starters. Yeah. You got uh, Charizard, uh, Blastoise, Blastoise, and Venusaur. And Venusaur. Uh, even though Venusaur is not great, but I yeah. just like having the starters. Uh, then I would have uh, either Mewtwo or Mew. Uh, I'm missing one. Six, right? Yeah. Maybe an Onyx because I need a ground type. Yeah. And Scyther. Scyther <laughs> is the most hot topic ass yeah. looking Pokemon. So either Scyther or Mew, whatever you think is more interesting to draw. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, Charizard or Charmander. Uh, Leonardo Galindo says, Reused animation and assets are so common in animation and video games. I don't care. I didn't care for the uh, national decks not appearing. I'm still going to buy Pokemon uh, Shield. And here's an example. Love you. Padres. Padres. And it's Dragon Ball... Dragon Super? Ball Super, yeah, episodes 110 and 129, and it's the same frame of animation. Just one has a blue uh, power filter over it. Yeah, it's legit the exact same frame there's of a very, There's a very famous um, video on YouTube. Um, I forgot what it's called. Something like Disney is Lazy or whatever. Because there was a period where uh, they were, they were, Disney was recycling animation. Like the animation of Robin Hood was the same as it was in uh, the Aristocats. Um, and I, I've heard it argued that like that's not an example of Disney laziness. That's an example of Disney efficiency. Yeah. 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 Like, what does it matter? Yeah. If the same thing's happening twice, what the hell does it matter? Yeah. Uh, I got news for you. Sometimes I reuse footage. Yeah. I reused the shot in my last video. Did you notice? Nope. Uh, Cash Reeves says, which 8-bit do should I get? SNES, Game Boy, All Black? All hinges on what you say. You should get the SNES one and spray paint the whole thing pink. There you go. Good luck with that. Uh, Till plays says I have the exact same experience as uh, Will, transferring games between SD cards on my Switch using a PC. I ended up just re-downloading all my games again, and that worked no problem. There you go. So even PC gamers have PC gamers PC users have the same problem. Uh. Oh, we got some fan art. Yeah, oh, this I is gotta, uh, the fan art they were talking about before. I got to try to pull this up on screen now. I wasn't prepared for this. Also, I'd like to say that the Weeb Den Twitter account just tweeted, uh, Scyther is the most hot topic looking <laughs> ass Pokemon, Bob Wolf. <laughs> I mean, is it not, though? It's 
pretty accurate. That's some good fan art. Hey guys, heard you want fan art, so I made some. I made two versions, whichever you like is cool with me. Hope I love your stream. Oh my god, that's us. This is uh, Mill of the Killer 12 from the Super Chat. Oh my god, my my big dumb face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a switch on the bottom of Mario Maker. Hold on, I gotta pull this up so that people can actually see it. What comic am I reading? I can't tell, but it looks like the back, like an ad from the back, and I appreciate the hell out of that. How'd you get this logo? That's great. Thank you very much. This is Mill yeah. of the Killer? Yeah. Oh, I'm Mill of the Killer. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um. All right. What else? All right. Got uh, Louis F. Uh, meanwhile, at Best Buy, and it's uh the P the PS class PlayStation class for twenty bucks. I heard about that. That is sad as hell. I almost bought one because That's, it's twenty bucks. The controllers should be twenty bucks. I know? know. That's sad. It's really sad. Jordan Super Saiyan says, "If Switch people want better battery life, isn't it cheaper?" And more battery to just get an anchor power bank. Let the people know. If you, yeah, I mean, if you have a switch right now and you want better battery life, you can just get an anchor power cord. Yeah, the, the Nintendo official mm -hmm. one. I don't know if they make them still. I feel like they do. Anchor doesn't like take their battery banks out of out of um, circulation. They just keep making more. Yes. Like well, while while uh, while we were filming this, my friend just asked me what's a good. Uh, battery bank to get and i told him anything by anchor and i was gonna look and send him one but i'm like oh or there's a thousand power. of them rav power also rav power um jackery too you can't get oh no the, amazon isn't selling them really like there is through third parties on amazon interesting and last time i checked i didn't see them at I mean, the big one that you took, Yeah, that one you can't find anywhere. Well, I didn't take it. You just gave it to me because you're like, I'm nah, taking a small stole one. It. Stole it. Uh, here it is for $340. Yikes. And that's not what it retailed at. No. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not seeing it on their site. I think you can go into Target or Best Buy and find the small one. But, yeah. Uh, it's hard to find. That's the only one I would recommend, though. Yeah. Um, but honestly... I don't, I don't think it's like, why do you need that much battery life? You know, where are you going to be outside where you need six hours of battery yeah. life? Uh, a little reckless says they still make the anchor ones. I saw them still available online at Target. Oh, at Target. There you go. I'm going to look on Target right now. Will you read the next uh, thing? Uh, Luke Antone, would you recommend Shovel Knight? I have an eight hour card ride. Yes. Uh, and then Brandon, uh, have you modded any of your consoles or controllers? I recently swapped out my pro controller joysticks with Xbox one joysticks. I need a picture of that. Yeah. Uh, no, we've never modded our consoles or anything like that. There's a sale on the switch anchor power cord target. It is $40 and it ends on Friday. That is a good deal. Yeah. On both of them? Or? No, the do the the one that you have the is only one. seventy dollars, which oh. is still a deal because I think it retailed at eighty. Yeah. So, uh, yo, if you want one, get it at Target. Mm -hmm. Is that all the hashtag? Yes. Okay. Now last week we are on to last week's Wolf Den Live. If you're not here, you can just leave a comment in the description and uh, boopity boopity bop. Uh. Atif Faruqi says, 2017, finally, a way to take my home console experience portable and consolidate them instead of having two separate consoles. 2019, finally, a way for me to leave my Switch at home and take them portable on a separate console. <laughs> Us you as consumers, we just keep wanting more and yeah, more and more. We just keep buying things. Patrick M., the first thing y'all needed to do was eat on camera, huh? Thanks for that. No problem, Patrick yeah. M. Hope you're hungry. Switch Cat says the docking situation kind of bugs me too. I'm sure everyone noticed uh, the dock notch on the body when the presentation shows the rear of the system. I am curious why that was left there since it is there to align the USB-C port when the system is dropped into a dock. Spending lots of time in Japan, I have seen all manner of switch attachments and almost none besides the dock and charge stand You make use of the dock. I think you would just answer your own question with the charge stand thing. Yeah, I, it's probably for the charge stand or like stands in general. Because you don't have a, 
because you there's no kickstand on this thing. So yeah. they're gonna want to sell it. I can't believe the amount of times we pull this out. I know we should just <laughs> leave it on this damn thing. Uh, I've never used this, by the way. Really? I've only bought it to take a picture of, and then we pull it out every <laughs> five seconds on the podcast. This stand is going to be very important for the Switch. Yeah. Right? Cause You're going to see a big surge in these things. I'm guaranteeing it. Yeah, like so it uh, you might want to get one of these. If you ever want to play in tabletop mode yeah. with the Switch Lite, because you're going to need this to, to do that. Uh, and if you want to charge it while you do that. so Yeah. Uh, that's why they have also it's the same hardware for the most well similar hardware that they got in there so um i think it makes sense why they had a little notch yeah. in the back even if it's not useful for most applications yeah duncan wood question am i weird for it not enjoying the winter soldier yes yes i've I tried it watching it multiple times because it's everyone's favorite marvel movie but i can't can never get into it it's different it's like one of the more serious marvel movies I would say like it's not it's not as jokey as like the other Marvel films, um, and it's a lot more intense um, when, amongst its brethren. Um, it was my favorite until Spider Man Homecoming. <clears throat> I'm done talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, you like what you like. I mean, I put Thor one and Ant Man one in my top ten, so I am in no position or, to talk. You're both weird. Yeah. Uh, in Invidious 07. Switch Lite cut too much to be $200 in my opinion. If the, if it was dock compatible but just didn't include a dock, then $200 might be okay. But without that, it should be $150. That's very cheap. Yeah. Uh, the original Switch should be $250 at this point. It will probably still sell just fine. That's the whole reason it should be $200. Yeah. Because it's going to sell just fine. But as a current switch owner there is nothing appealing about this to me the colors are disappointing it should have debuted with zelda mario and pokemon themed editions it probably didn't debut with zelda and mario because there's no zelda mario you know there's twilight not twilight princess link's awakening and mario Maker. link's awakening comes out the same day as yeah. the switch light uh which there should definitely be a, a Link's yeah. Awakening version um I don't know. I think in the grand scheme of things, this price point works. It's not going to be one hundred. It's not one hundred fifty dollars because people are going to spend two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, and the original Switch isn't going to go down in price because people are willing to spend that much on it. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know. Yeah, Nintendo like when they have a hit, they keep the price point uh, high because they believe in the value of their product. Uh, Nicholas Malia says, uh, you guys have no idea what you're talking about. I can't even watch this LMAO. Okay, I don't so know no. why that's included yeah. here, but okay, goodbye. We don't care. Okay, bye. Uh, there's plenty of podcasts on the internet yeah. where you could also listen to them and go, these guys don't know what to talk about either. How about start your own podcast? That's yeah, better do that. Adrian A says, same Bob, only in the third act did I fall in love with all of... Far From Home. Far From Home. Yeah. I see that acronym a lot, and I'm like, well, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a movie that gets better as it goes on. Yeah. It's a great movie. It is. It's very good. Now we're finally in the actual chat. Yes. For a little bit. Now we gotta leave. Uh, Nekus is still waiting for that bloodstain patch for, for THR. Uh, I don't know what THR means, but I still haven't played it. I mean, I played it at, at uh, PAX. Yeah. But, uh, um, I haven't downloaded. I don't know. I got Mario Maker. Why the hell am I yeah. gonna play that game? Uh, Carlos Rivera says I got the small Anchor Switch portable battery for seventeen dollars in Walmart. God damn, the Switch one. Seventeen. Damn. damn, that must have been on clearance or something. Green and a cat says Bob. I'm having issues with the SN30 Pro D pad cutting out. Do you know about that? No. What is that <laughs> happening? Uh, that might be the, uh, the thing we were talking about before. We got to put like a hole punch, uh, reinforcements on it. So do that. Just cutting out? Yeah. I think th that's for it double, th that's for it drifting towards the bottom or to yeah. the right or something. Cause it like, it presses two of the contacts at the same time. Put yeah. the hole punch thing on it. Uh, it's cause the contact is so big. And if you put the hole punch thing on it, it, it doesn't engage the contact. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this sounds like a completely different issue. 
I says, uh, which Pokemon game should I get? I can't find any signs of version exclusives anywhere. Oh, you're talking about Sword and Shield? You got to wait a little bit. Yeah. There's version exclusive uh, gyms, but I don't think we know which version gets which. Yeah. So wait until it gets closer to release and then we'll know. Uh, Preston Casey, imagine if every three years Nintendo released an upgrade upgraded switch tablet similar to ipads feels like we're getting that almost yeah but uh, it's it's one of those things where it's like we don't it it's not a, like like the new yeah. 2019 nintendo switch it's just like hey we're giving it new battery we're giving it a better battery yeah you know, it's a stealth thing mm-hmm. um aziz says in the chat uh Hey, when is the new Switch coming to the U.S.? Uh, because I heard that it's coming in mid-August to Japan. What about U.S.? Uh, I think it's the same time, They right? said mid-August yeah. in the U.S. So, look out for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hot Pancakes says, Are you participating in the last Splatfest? Kind of stupid they made it the last one when they confirmed that they aren't working on or even thought of a third one. What do you mean? I guess he figures they'll keep doing uh, Splatfests until Splatoon 3 is announced. But they're not doing it. But they're probably stopping the Splatfest so they can start work on Splatoon 3. I'm sure they've been working on it, but maybe they want to get ham yeah. into it, you know? Yeah. Uh, no, I haven't played Splatoon in forever. Uh, also, I'm not ranked because I keep playing local <laughs> games. I mean, not local, private matches. So, um, yeah, I'm not doing the Splatfest. But I hope my girl uh, Marina wins. She's the, she's the, yeah, yeah, Marina. Yeah, she's the, she's the, we like her. Okay. We're team Marina, whatever she wants. Yes. Uh, Carlos Rivera says, yeah, it was on clearance with a bunch of other accessories and electronics. Now I visit every Walmart and check what they have on clearance in electronics. You should buy them all up if you see them. Yeah. Uh, all right. You got any more you want to read here? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Okay, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for chatting with us. As always, Wolf Den Live is every single Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube.com slash Wolf Den. If you can't make the show for any reason at all, we always put it up as an archive version on Thursday for you to watch on demand whenever you want. If you prefer to listen to us rather than watch us, you can do that as well. We are also an audio podcast on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. And please, if you listen to us on any of those platforms, Please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review us because that helps us with placement on those respective stores. Head on over to twitch.tv slash wolfden because I've been having a grand old time with Mario Maker. I've been trying to stream a lot more because I'm having a blast. But uh, I got a lot of video content to make here on YouTube. So yeah. I got a lot of work to do. But go to twitch.tv slash wolfden and make sure you slam that bell because who knows when I'm going to be live next. Probably tomorrow night like thursday night at 8 p.m that's usually when i do it but uh you never know could be early could be a random stream on a friday who knows uh but thank you guys for hanging out and we'll see you later oh don't forget the the new channel yes the the, the clips channel wolf Dan clips go to the description and subscribe to that channel so you can get clips of yes. the show if you don't want to watch the whole two-hour thingy yeah we'll see you later goodbye goodbye